Yo. What's up, people? Kelly, what's going on? Hey, Booba, I have a gift for you. Oh, wait, give me one second. Uh, 10 9? Is, was that to me? Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, that was on the radio. <laughs> okay. What's up? You have a gift? I have a gift for you at your convenience. All right. Um, I can probably come. Where are you at right now? Uh, running from the Power Street Apartments towards Town Hall. I uh, ping. Ping one four two four. Alrighty, I can do that. Actually, you know what? You want to just meet me in the building? Turn around. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. All right, I'll see, see you there, there shortly. All right, bye. No 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 no. Hello, sir. Hey, is this something a uh, bench guy should be a part of? Uh, yeah, probably a good idea. All right, I will. I'll get him here. Sounds good. All right, see you soon. Bye. Yo, what's up, Sid? I'm gonna see the gift. I got a gift for Booba. It's not this one. It's this one. Design specs for the stealth heli. Uh, Mr. Kelly, uh, get in Mr. Kelly. Uh, he has something for us. No, no, we're not going anywhere. Just come here. See you shortly. Yo, this is a sick whip. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It actually goes really fast. Sports mode, so kind of like A+. Plus. All right. All right, he, uh, he'll be here in a minute. He's riding uh, around with... The sheriff, so. Perfect. Then I'll wait uh, until he's here to give you the gift. Yeah, we can just hang out. I'm going to get off radio. How you been? How's things going? Uh, pretty good. Slowly making advancements. I got my business finally approved so we can nice, nice. consult uh, appropriately rather than a freelancer. All good things. Nice. So is that the next step for the DOD? Yeah, definitely kind of a good first step. Um, now it's kind of getting all the next pieces in play. Um, I think figuring out the right contacts in city uh, as well as out of city. But yes, this, this reopens the doors for my connections with the DOD, which is great. Yeah, that's good. Uh, have you been talking to people like Copper and Snow and Vale? I have talked to Copper uh, and actually have uh, a design for her request for an MH6 Little Bird, uh, which is... Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, now we need to... I actually need to meet with the three of them at some point. I had an interesting run-in with Vale, uh, who I don't think knows who I am yet. <laughs> she pulled a gun on somebody uh, in my presence, 
and didn't like when I asked why she pulled a gun for tapping her vehicle. Yeah, that's that's Vale. That's Vale. Uh, bench guy, this is Sloan Kelly, the uh, advisor to the mayor. Bench guy, good to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, here's here's the gift. I'll uh, drop it on the floor here. Uh, you can look at it first, boss. There's uh, one for each of you. Oh, nice. This wow, that is, is nice. Roughly what you were thinking for a stealth helicopter for the yeah, FRB? Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. What do you think? We need this. Yeah, we do. I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm looking at, but it looks pretty good. Well, it's the, uh, the R and D side of getting this built, uh, it's kind of the fundamentals. That's what my Stealth company health. does. Yeah. We, uh, we do the engineering side and then we work with, um, whether it be people in the city or outside of the city to actually do the build construction kind of pieces of it. But yeah, you probably want to run that underwood. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. He, you know, he's around today. Underwood? Is he? I would give him a could... call immediately. Yeah, okay. he definitely should see something that, like this. And I do mean immediately. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have his number. <laughs> oh, God, I don't have it. Yeah. Uh, I can get it. Uh, do you want me to give it to you, boss? No, I don't need it. He does. Oh, I thought you meant... Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. All right, you ready for the number? Hit me with it. It is six two eight nine nine eight seven two sixty three. Got it. Oh, also, I bought a car. Bought a car. Yeah, I bought a comet. But I can actually get around when I'm is there a difference between Widewood and Underwood? Hello. Oh. Hi, is this Officer Underwood? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Hi, uh, my name is Sloan Kelly. I am the advisor to Mayor Mickey. Uh, I was requested to give you a quick shout that you may be the person in which to discuss, um, possibly, um, some vehicular things. That we're working on the FIB with. Uh, sure. Great. Well, what can I help you with? Well, um, I'm actually down at the FIB building with uh, Bench Guy and Booba at the moment. Uh, we have the schematics for um, a helicopter we wanted to run by you. Uh, if that was something that you could assist with, perhaps. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be down there in a moment. Sounds great. See you shortly. All right. Bye bye. Bye. I don't know how to do this stuff in character. <laughs> like, of it and you keep yours. I'm serious. Nobody can see that. What's the difference between Underwood and Widewood? Okay. All right. I'll leave that up to you. Morning. Your, uh, discretion. I trust you. Copy that. Uh, did he? He will be down shortly. All right. Now you're talking. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this knocked down, huh? Yeah, I That'll mean, at be, least getting uh, good. getting the started, the sooner the better. Absolutely. See if we can't get a file um, in this city budget if we need it and all of that stuff. Yeah, we might uh we might not be needing uh I think I told you this we might not be needing state budget. Right, okay, the federal access. I'm here for that. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, just as a heads up, the mayor went ahead and put in an order for a singular Escalade already. <laughs> Oh, did he? Yeah, so that should be coming in the near future. It just needs to be upgraded. I think it's just a base model. 
All right, yeah, we also need Underwood also might be able to help us with getting undercover lights on it. Okay. That might Perfect. be another thing we should mention to him. Yeah, we should discuss, certainly. Listen, uh, whenever the shit's brought up to Underwood, uh, don't be pushy about it, all right? Yeah, of course. Of course not. We just, you know, tell him this is what we're looking for, and he does it in his own time. And, you know, if he doesn't want to do it at all, he doesn't do it at all. And that's totally fine. That's the most important part, what you, what you just said right there. Yeah, If it doesn't course. happen, it doesn't happen. All right, well, this is looking great. I'm going to... Uh... Do you want to be here for the meeting with Underwood? I think he's almost here. Sure. You know what his call sign is? He's SRU, right? Yeah, he is. Two thirty-seven. Oh, he still has his trooper call sign, even though he's not. He transferred to the troopers, and then got told that he not be a trooper, and then he, I think he went back to PBSO and got demoted. Wait, what? Yeah. Ouch. Oh wait, he's not. Yeah, he's not coming. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Might be in an active. Main thing right now, uh, I mean, this is all good. This is uh, spectacular. Stealth is nice. But uh, we need that elevator. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh... I'm meeting, I think I might be meeting with the wrong people though. I, I, I think that they can help us get done, but maybe there's someone better that I could meet with. I, I don't know who that would be. Maybe the Senate. Could be. I think Senator DW might be the yeah, right maybe, person. Uh, maybe I'll shoot an email too. Okay, yeah, because if we, because if I didn't have to meet with the people, I was meeting with Dean Watson and Lang Buddha. And I'm thinking that maybe uh, just talking directly to the Senate is probably better. That's a double-edged sword there. Could be better, could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I have that long list of construction. Now, if it's very detailed, have pictures and all that. Is it something we need to talk to Andy Jones about? Uh, I already did. Gotcha. And I'm pretty sure she edited it. It's just awaiting. But construction moves very slowly. Right. So if we need something done, it's going out of our way for people that can get it done. Yeah, that makes sense. And we really need that elevator fixed. The elevator is uh, top prio. Yeah, without a doubt. For sure. Also, what do you think about uh, agents being on frequency zero? Makes sense. Can Goes you, with the call well, sign. Can you get on zero for me real fast? Radio check. Shut up. All right. <laughs> I just didn't know if zero was the frequency that actually had a bandwidth where you could hear people but it is i'll be honest i hate the radio i only yeah, use it too. whenever i need to yeah obviously but i think you know good for forcer and i anyone else to be able to have a you know frequency where we can communicate faster than call yeah most likely
Hey, uh, my meeting's over. Can you pick me up? Wait, who are you with? <sighs> okay. I can take you where you need to go. Uh, says you. What's up? I can take you where you need to go. Are you trying to get back to Fred? No. Who is he riding with? Faley. Oh. All right. Well, I don't blame you. I hate Faley. Why you hate him? It's uh, complicated. I uh, got it. I, I don't, I'm not a, a very big fan, but I don't hate him. You hate him? Yeah. There was a, a PD prom, <laughs> and we got shot at by RPGs. And I ran outside and started shooting at the area that RPGs came from, as well as 30 other people, other cops did as well. And he started, he started yelling to me in particular, why are you shooting? And then he brought it up to people and they laughed at him. Hey guys, how's the meeting? Get in good, the car, really good. Sky! Hey, Sheriff. See what I mean, Booba? Yeah. God damn it, unlock the door. It is unlocked, fucking lounging man. Get in the car. All right, see you guys. He's not gonna be in that car for very much longer. Doesn't seem like it. Sheriff Fred's an interesting fella. Yeah, what's your uh, take on him? I, I honestly don't know what to think about anybody in this city. Yeah, you kinda gotta take people in very little amount. Well, here's a question for you now that bench guy has departed us. Why are you changing your thoughts on meeting with Lang and Dean? Uh, because it's a federal building. I have we should be getting. Yeah, I have a meeting with them help this from afternoon. The federal government. What are you meeting with them about? Um, some of the legislation that we're working on. I mean, they're powerful people. It's fine, you know. It's just a matter of we ask them for help, we owe them something. That's what I'm afraid of. I would. Uh... Are you are you meeting with them about what, what specific legislation? Just a couple pieces that that are a little too ambiguous that I think are actually some ideas that they had brought forward um, that are not actually necessarily bad. They just need to be rephrased. And so trying to get some assistance from them on like why. Like I don't know enough about them to know why they do uh, I mean, they're a big things. corporation that should be pretty self-explanatory, the kind of people they are. I mean seems like from some of my conversations they're interested in helping the city pretty broadly they are um so interested in controlling city controlling okay yeah i mean helping just, and controlling are two different things they are but they're trying to accomplish the latter by performing the former okay if that makes sense I, yeah i think so yeah, I guess I guess maybe I need to be cautious in that meeting then. Yeah, I mean, you you are writing, you know, state legislature. Yeah, there's uh, so many pieces. Just remember that that it's, it's on the state level. Right. If everything goes according to plan and it is, it'll be federal legislation. Right. But we'll see. I mean, I, I'm not going to say don't have your meeting, but. Be wise. Yeah, exactly. Get advice, but also realize that anything they help us with, their goal is to 
not be the target of as well as have control over as much as they can. <laughs> That's good to know. Because I'm not stupid. I know they're entertaining my ideas because they want to help us so that they're not the focus of what FIB does. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm not stupid. That's, I mean, I, I'm sure they like the idea of it too. It's not just, you don't want, you know, they, anytime someone gives you a helping hand, I'm it's playing always super with, dumb right well, now. what am I getting in return? In this city, at least. Yeah, I, I've noticed that more and more. It doesn't seem like anything is without a lot of self-interest. Exactly. And if they're willing to help us without us giving them anything, then there's expected things in the future. It's certainly good to know before I walk in there blindly. Yeah, just, you know, be careful what you say and be careful how much information you give them because they'll run away with it. They'll also like to make their own ideas out of what you're going to tell them. <laughs> as, as if it was something that they initiated? Exactly. Gotcha. The meeting with Lang last night was a really interesting one. Obviously, Sloan didn't die. responded what did he sound did he sound joking no he sounded serious all right well he's at a bank right now with the sheriff and bench guy okay and that definitely wasn't the act of he was on it could just be further distraction that's fine yeah we'll see yeah, right. It's like, these ideas are their ideas in the first place. That, like, honestly, meeting with them, Sloan knows is like, it's mostly a protection for himself at this point. Because people have made it very obvious that Lang kills people. And so, like, this is a... Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, I can measure. speak with the the Senate and get the elevator working that way. Well, and even if it's literally just the elevator that we get done, there, yeah, there's a lot more construction that I want. But is, if that's the only thing we get done, then, but as long as we, you know, don't have to do it, if say like that's the only thing we get done, but if we do it not through, you know, Cerberus, but if we get it done through the Senate, that's, I would be fine with that being the only construction done for a while. Sure gets us a step further and doesn't tie you down to anything. Exactly. Makes sense.
Let's get a little more comfortable here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Who owns this giant tower ahead of us? Uh, the light up one or the Union Depository? The light up one slightly to the left. You mean the right? Oh no, like even further to the left. Oh, you mean, you mean that? The one that says maze, yeah. Oh, uh, um, I'm not positive. I believe it's Leslie Lindbergh though. He is also a member, the I think. The other Cerberus, Cerberus. head. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, they, they, they own a lot. You can get to the top of that, though. Oh, really? Yep. There's an elevator. Also a garage with an elevator that goes up as well. Interesting. What are you thinking? I'm just getting more and more of a picture of the control they have in the city. I had a long conversation yesterday that gave me a little bit better picture. Yeah, they're powerful people with a lot of money. They seem like people not to cross though. Yeah, that that is for sure. I think they help people create businesses and end up owning that business a lot of the time. <laughs> I'm sure they do. They have a business center. I mean, their, their building is a business center. A bunch of people have offices in it. Before, uh, before storefronts were being leased out, that was where everyone would go is this, the business center. Yeah, I thought about getting an office there, but I'm wondering if I should. Yeah, I don't know. I'm wondering how much an office space is necessary. It depends on who you talk to in character versus OOC about it, I think. Investment company versus controlling interest. I think OOC, they probably do do a lot of good things, but they also tend to have a desire to control. We might be here a while. That's okay, I got nothing happening. At least not yet. No one knows I'm around, which is great. Granted, we've got 55 minutes. Yeah, that's true.
weirdly enough, it's based off of like a plastic model. <laughs> Make it look like a, when you know that you're like, oh yeah, it for sure a hundred percent is. The other one's less so. But it also looks a little rougher. Yeah, exactly. How many seats would be in this thing? Six. Nice. Yeah, it's designed to be able to repel from as well. A little more tactical than I think what exists already in a rentable fashion. Yeah, that's true. Very. Oh, I got a uh, word back on the legislation for the, um, NVL squad. Yeah. It was simply, how is this even remotely legal? Nice. Yeah. So we Where did that to, come from? Was that Crane? That was Crane. <laughs> yeah. We may need to operate a little more in stealth if we want to try and do that. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there might have to be something that, uh, I don't know, like another department does or just a outsourced thing. I don't know. Yeah, I have not pushed through any legislation on Department of Homeland Security. Kind of have just held off on it. Yeah, probably best for now. Yeah, it's sitting sitting in a draft form along with many others for the time being. the biggest hurdle with the NBA squad is them operating as law enforcement light probably the biggest problem go on and obviously they're not officers so acting a means of shooting or detaining people it would be illegal. That's probably the, the problem that Crane sees. That makes sense. I mean, I guess in essence, you're kind of deputizing them though. 
Yeah, well, there you go. That's that's the legislation you probably need to work on. I mean, it's, it's in there. I think the part he's referring to is the, in Pred's words, neck bombs. Really? That's the problem he had? All right, well. <laughs> How is it legal? Well, I guess you're, you're killing people in the event that they come across in a threatening manner. Well, I mean, that could be changed. I had to run back through, um, basically all of them got rejected in some form or another, which was interesting because I think some of them don't make sense to reject outrightly. They were things like some protections for certain areas. Uh, I don't know why we wouldn't want to do that. Like protecting remaining areas from gangs seems like a good choice. Um, yeah, we'll see. How, do you, how did you word the protecting? Um, prevention of the abilities of gangs to place things like sprays and deal drugs in certain areas. Uh. Like that already exists in Legion Square. Just expanding it from Legion Square into like some other areas that are currently tagless, for lack of better phrasing. That's interesting. It might be... I mean, have you talked and sat down with Crane? Have you ever gotten that opportunity? No, we haven't been around at the same time, unfortunately. I think he's around today, but he had some priorities. Uh, so I'm waiting. We'll see if he's around later. Yeah. It definitely need to be discussed. The other thing is, uh, these are also desperately need to be in review by Mickey, but again, he doesn't want to read. <laughs> His yeah, input's valuable I, though. I get that. Yeah, those notifications bug the hell out of me, but I also kind of need them because they're my identifier when, when Blau gets on, because he tweets. Or twats out. Apologies, I, I am uh, not paying attention to my camera angles. I, I, I got my, my laptop back, uh, and so I'm like using my multi-screen, multi-PC slash singular Mac setup to both take notes and work on stuff. I don't imagine that Underworld's gonna show up. <laughs> Yo, did you see the other day when Marlo was like having people just like tweet out their number and, and it was like just everyone tweeting numbers for like four hours or like whatever 
deal he was running. <laughs> awful. Awful. I mean, it's cool to see 13 people vibing with us while we wait for Underwood. Appreciate you guys hanging out. <laughs> yeah, so, so the, um, couple pieces of legislation that, like, I don't know why we got pushed back on this like trying to raise receipts value to 300 instead of 200. Um, the question was like, why do we need that? I'm like, well, because people can't make a living. Why do we need to increase government pay and the government pay cap? Well, because lawyers make nothing and judges make nothing and the mayor makes nothing. You know, you can make uh, the math, the math on if, if they raise the paychecks to $300 standing at Uwu Cafe, you can make $7,200 an hour. Um, but government employees are capped at things like $1,200 an hour or $1,500 an hour. Why does it make sense to be a government employee if you're capped at like, what is that? One fifth? one sixth of what the average person can make at literally any other restaurant. I mean, I understand being a lawyer because there or like the DOJ because there's like a DOJ queue, but like the mayor and deputy mayors, which are still trying to get on like just their base prio. You forgot. Seems like that might be the case. You want to give him a call? He might know you better than he knows me. Uh, I think they're on power right now. Oh, it's just they're literally, literally right down here. this. Like I could, I could understand paying somebody less if the, the trade off or the exchange was like, you get to get, um, like, like for, for Blau, it's, it's a little bit different because he's got golden prio, right. As a, as a content creator, he's in nonstop, but like for the deputies who maybe don't have the same level of prio, um, Ayub who, who has to, uh, sometimes queue as an EMS to get in reasonably my character like Sloan I, I gotta pay for Pryo to be able to get in relatively fast and if I don't get in right at Tsunami then it's, there's like no chance of getting in even with the plus two Pryo for like two hours if I try and log in at like four o'clock um, eastern time it's sometimes six or seven o'clock before I can actually get in um, which is unfortunate so just kind of like sitting but like the concept of being like well if you're actually a deputy and you're getting paid as a, a deputy, which is next to nothing, but in exchange, you get access to the priority queue and you're gonna jump in and like be logged into deputy the whole time. That seems more reasonable to me, which I think at one time there was something like that, but then it might've been taken away. Yeah. The, the golden ticket 
concept is an interesting one in that like my my quote golden ticket is that Blau got me into no pixel. Uh but outside of that my prio is is what I make it, right? It's like am I willing to pay for it? I'm just hoping that the RP around this stuff is actually like valuable enough that like somewhere down the line they're like, oh yeah, that is good. That is valuable. Yeah, they just drove away. <laughs> All right. Well. I'm going to go uh, drive down there. I'll be right back. Sounds good. I'll be here. I don't even know what that process looks like. Do you just like hang coil or, or TW? <laughs> like, yo. You deserves prio. The other thing is, so yesterday, Blau was tilted about all the stuff that was going on. Uh, this is the spicy, spicy takes. Um, when when Sloan was talking to Nancy openly, which, by the way, just so everyone is fully aware, from Sloan's perspective, he has seen Mickey talk very openly about all of the stuff that we're working on. So it doesn't make sense to hide anything. Um, until a time as such as like last night when Buddha was like, yo, we don't want everybody to know about this stuff. Like in character, it doesn't make sense not to talk about it. So, so the, the, like all the hoppers and, and everybody who can be like, this is, uh, this is something that Cerberus wants to hold on to or whatever. You know, Mickey's been talking about missiles forever. Cops have been asking for missiles forever since he's been talking about it. Uh, the fact that this stuff um, is is like completely front facing and, and like he said, it's public legislation. Uh, like technically all of this stuff is approved and it's, it's all very in your face. Um, yes. Mickey absolutely spills too many beans. The way I tried to word it last night was, if we create a partnership together, you can tell me what you do and don't want me to talk about. Um, that kind of gives Cerberus the green light to say, this is something we want to keep on the DL. Um, I'll actually create a, um, a, a non-disclosure agreement between my company, which is the one that's like, drafting the legislation pieces and then things that you say don't talk about i won't talk about uh and if i do you can take me to court like those are the things that like i like i think that was the only thing that saved sloan yesterday was like i think we should probably move beyond this whole open talking thing into some space of keeping things secretive but that's only going to happen if um if I know in character that I shouldn't talk about stuff. I think people forget about that. People forget that like the role play of, of this is like, oh, Sloan shouldn't be talking about anything. But then you're like, 
why shouldn't he? He's a he's a politician, and politicians are usually pretty open about the things that they're working on. They want people to publicly know about things, especially if it's going to be for the good of the city. Um, there shouldn't be legislation that you're working on that would benefit one particular party, especially if the way that it was worded to you was that it was for the good of the city. Um, privatization of the prison, for instance, could be for the good of the prison if it's worded the right way. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it is one of those things that if you don't like tell someone that they need to stop, then they, they won't. So where, where Buddha was like, I'm going to throw this guy off a building. It's like, well, if you just throw him off a building, he's going to keep doing it um, because he's going to think like, okay, well, I was thrown off a building because he doesn't know why he was thrown off the building. Right. And uh, unless you're like, you need to stop talking about all of this stuff, throw off a building. And then like, it's like, okay, well, I'm a politician. I have to talk about this stuff. Um, not only am I going to talk about it, but now I'm going to come after you, which which would have been like a, a worse way to. Um... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I I figured I figured Sloan calling her would have been like a great way. Like I wanted to be like I live, bitch, but like that didn't make sense in character. Um, but yeah, like the the whole like concept of like trying to threaten a politician for the sake of like trying to keep things under wraps is not the most intelligent way to do that knowing that a politician would have the power especially at some point behind the dod um who can say like oh you need to uh adjust your one. expectations um yeah i don't know i don't know exactly how to rp that out but TBD. Hello, sir. Hey, sorry about that. I got a distract about the sheriff. Oh, no, that's that's fine. What I happened? expect as much. Uh, do you have another one to give him or should I give him one of the ones that uh, I have? Yeah, I've got one more. All right, perfect. There you go, sir. Okay, let me take a look at this. 60M. Shh. Shit. Yeah, this is highly classified. Just a little project that my company has been doing some research and development on. I think we're nearing some design uh, and implementation. You go okay. over there. Yeah, I got a, I got a few uh, contacts or something like this. Perfect. Um, this is approved by the man. It is actually yeah we we have approval to not only have one for the fib but also the mayor's office okay these are cost an extortionate amount of money i hope you know that i am fully aware and we have budget approval we just need to know how much and i can get it secured uh sheriff you okay. good also another thing that we need yeah i'm uh, good for the FIB is we're getting escalades and we're going to need to be able to get undercover lights on them. Wait, what? Uh, we're getting escalades as undercover vehicle as means of transportation for the FIB. And we'd like to, obviously I'm not, it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to take long and be expensive, but uh, undercover lights for the escalades. And the darkest uh... tent possible. I'm not sure that'll be possible for the Escalades. Uh, they Damn don't it. meet regulations, unfortunately. Uh, possibly do it for something like a Granger. Or... I could take a look at what vehicles would be suitable. Can we get, like, a Similar Suburban to that. imported or something? Uh... Suburbans? What is this? Fucking the, the late 90s? I mean, Suburbans would be the second choice to an Escalade. <laughs> yeah we have to be tied with regulations when it comes to uh government vehicles especially with lights uh so import cars like that will be it might be a bit of a stretch i'm sorry Alex. all right yeah i mean i'm willing to try it if it i mean if it gets shut down it gets shut down which is why maybe a ball or something along those lines would be more suitable i think do you have any other ideas, boss? 
Well, uh, not really if the Escalade's out of the picture. I can I can take a look around and see uh see what's viable. I mean, maybe it makes sense for the Escalades to be the the vehicles that like the analysts use, but then the UC ones or whatever else is available. Yeah, that could work. We could just not have lights on them. I what's uh what's similar to a, an Escalade here? AKA uh, could be uh, an Escalade. Thing here might be either a Landstalker or Ranger. a Ranger, but Rangers are really sluggish. Kind of feels like we like the Washington compared to something like the Buffalo. Oh my God! Yeah, the so, Washington's awful. Uh, we, we could beef a, a, one of them up. Just needs B. The Washington is the perfect car for an FIB agent. What do you mean? It's off. It's terrible. What do you mean? It's a get a crown a crown vic. It's a fucking crown it vic. It literally get stuck on the ramp out of MRPD. <laughs> hey, you just heard Widewood. He could. Well, we are, we are not going to use Washingtons. We're, we're going to use something. Washingtons are FIB, they're FIB car. I don't disagree with you, but the amount of work that you have to put into a Washington to get it fucking actually workable in the city was be astronomical. There's a Washington that has bullet resistant windows. Are you not listening to me? I know. I'm just saying that there's what has bullet resistant fucking windows. It's cool as shit. I know a guy that had one. Who? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Here's the other design. So, oh, oh, for this you. uh, this thing, you're looking at around seven to eight million dollars per each one of those. Not a problem at all. Oh, goddamn. Yep, money is uh no concern here. Yeah, we've kind of been given carte blanche to make this work. You giving them fucking two Bugatti Veyrons at a time or some shit? Don't worry well, about can't... it, Pred. You'll see. Big things are happening, Pred. You're not ready for it. All right, I believe you. Thank God I'm a marshal. Yeah, otherwise you'd be staying with Clear right now. Where is Clear? Back there. In the corner. Oh, God. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, if we can get something like a Grange, a little... I guess souped up. I, I we could work with a Granger. I love that Sloan kind of has this weird yeah, in with the FIB that was like completely you know, unintentional, but something like the is, Washington is what's making them it have their moves. Not, it doesn't cut it. Yeah, I got you. Looks perfect, just doesn't cut it. Yeah, so that's just uh, I could slap, you know, have somebody slap lights on a few things, but uh, you know, like the CPI Charger Explorer, they go for a lot of uh. Uh, strenuous regulation, so to speak, to meet standards. Well, I mean, we're uh, also the Nova vehicles. It, yeah, I love the problem, Nova. I mean, we what problem with like the local regulations or the federal regulations? Uh, uh I'm not, I'm not quite. Is it like a government thing, or is it like uh, the PD? Oh, it's, it's like a government thing. We have to make sure they're appropriate for the city. Um... Yo, what's up, Fabio? I just killed Clear, I think. No, it's bulletproof. Uh, oh. Uh, bench guy, I don't think it's bulletproof. <laughs> it's bulletproof. Bench guy, there's, it's not bulletproof. Oh, yeah, I probably should add that to the construction the list. Also, uh, the windows on the top floors are also not. I'm not sure if. Uh... It's bulletproof. I told you. It's it's not. I don't think it's bulletproof. Is it bulletproof? Uh. I've definitely been shot through those. Windows. No, no, no. It's bulletproof. This is not bulletproof. <laughs> uh, well, the uh, the top floor is not. I can tell you that much. Copper got uh, shot with an AWM. Yeah, I believe that. Anyway, uh, listen, is there anything else we need to uh, tell Underwood? I'm taking up his time. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it for now. Yeah, I think that's it. I, um, 
we'll get the budget at least for uh, well, at least two of them one for the fib and then the one for the mayor's office um just let me know what you need from me um you can have the money sent wherever it needs to go you guys swap All numbers right. right yeah we got each other's info right. what's, your, what's your name again sir sloan kelly s-l-o-a-n-e k-e-l-l-y Also, we are uh, working with uh, Chief Justice Crane and the Senate. It's not so uh, when it comes to you know anything like lights on cars, that it's but gonna go through them. When it comes to lights on cars, it uh, I, I generally run it by Soze. Uh, if it's not a specifically a UC vehicle for the department. Oh, okay. That uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I guess if you can pitch the idea of the lights on the Escalade first, and then you know, I'm afraid no, it's not going to happen because of that. It's because uh, the Escalade just doesn't meet certain government regulations that allow us to put the lights on. Okay, we're just not going to be able to make that happen. All right. Well, I guess I uh, use your best judgment for the next thing down from that. All right. Anything you can do. Appreciate it. We need you to the FIB bill. We have an officer down. Well, thank you, sir. No Whatever shit show this has turned into. He killed her. I didn't do anything. I thought the glass, the glass was supposed to be bullet. Don't worry, I got pressure on the wound. She's gonna be. Fine. Hey, uh, Booba, make a note. Bulletproof glass. All right, I'll add to the list right Booba, now. Booba, what the fuck? I thought this was bullet. I did. I never told you that it was bulletproof. Yeah, what the hell are you doing? It's an FIB building with big windows. I assumed that it was bulletproof. I know it would make total sense, but they're not. It would make a lot of sense. Would make a lot of sense, but they're not. You know the also, FIB Booba, is like mostly civilian work, right? Booba, we need to case up to these uh, offices over here. All right, I'll add it to the list too. Great, thank you. Uh huh. So you're gonna make the bullet, bulletproof, the... right? It's okay. Yeah, oh yeah. If someone was gonna get shot. I'm glad it was me. Oh god. No. Damn it. Look. I mean, look at this shit. You did. Blood on the window. I assumed it was bulletproof. I... Help. Assume. I mean, Help our fucking you. elevators don't even work. What happened? You got shot. But your elevators don't. Work. The elevators oh, don't god. even work. Best of luck, sir. Oh, the first it's one nice. worked. What's up, man? Alrighty, I'm gonna put the gunshot wounds here. Oh, God. Oh, dear. You know. Jeez. You know what? So All right, so yeah, that's, right. that's, yeah. that's oh, a I huge yeah. step for getting the annihilator for um, both FIB and the mayors, because we've had that approved. We just never had it actually, like, in so that's that's a big deal like sloan suddenly requesting 16 million i think the question is like do i try and broker this through sloan's company and i think this would be a really great opportunity to do that Ugh. Widewood slash Underwood being the vehicle person is good to know. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I intentionally didn't watch it. Uh, I'm not sure I want to like give me a ton of anxiety <laughs> yeah so so i'm connected to wise guy for igor on discord uh because i want to put together a um dossier for igor 
um, and actually like print those up in the city, he's been on Igor a ton, uh, which is for the NVL squad. But like the whole concept of the NVL squad is like slowly maybe dying. <laughs> But yeah, to like actually have that as an in-character connection now. And like having carte blanche from the mayor's office to make these requests. Because I want to get the, the thing for um, Copper as well. Ooh, that's a good idea. See if she's around. Kelly? Trooper, are you busy? Um, kind of. What's up? Uh, I have a gift. Oh my god, you shouldn't have. Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of my job. It's a gift that's part of the job. Oh. Is it a rocket? It, n no. You request a for clear a device? demilitarized version of a helicopter. I have I have the design scoped for it so we can begin requests on getting it uh, in the city. You know what? This is most excellent. How about we? Uh, do you know where the old courthouse is off of occupation? I do not. Um, it's a occupation and an Elgin, like where Meteor and Elgin kind of intersect. I'm sure I could find it. Uh, my trooper vehicle is parked out in front. Okay. Cool. I'll head there. All right. See you soon. Bye. Where did she say? Chat meta. Oh, am, am I really? Occupation and where? Elgin. So like literally right here. <laughs> oh, li literally is this her vehicle right here? <laughs> the irony. <laughs> You want to know the ironic thing, Copper, is I literally what? was right here. Wow. Like, I just happened to be walking around because I walk and talk. Uh-huh. But I don't know street names yet. Oh, okay. Anyway. This is a, the IA building's just around the corner. All right. Uh, check out those. There's one for each of you. Hi. Good to see you, Jenny. Hello. Get a book. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 no guns, as requested. Um, oh, I see it. Nice. So uh, I have decided to go a little bit different route than the way Mayor Mickey has uh, in his dealings <laughs> uh, uh -huh. and, and pull strings outside the city. Uh, to get some of the other things that we're working on imported. Uh, we are currently working on the acquisition of uh, another version of a helicopter um, okay. for the FIB, which is currently in the works. So I can make the same request for you all um, for this as well um, through that mechanism, if that's what you want. Ooh. Okay. And we can get budget uh, and funding all squared away with the state. Yes. Yes. Okay. Love it. 
Uh, are you going to make a proposal like this as well? Yeah, yeah, I, I can, uh, if that's what you would like. Um, I can put a, something formal together uh, and then meet with you and kind of discuss what it needs to look like from uh, the pricing standpoint. Um, I'll have yeah, to discuss. Yeah, this and the other, the FIB helicopter, did you uh -huh. already quote them on the aircraft? Uh, I have been quoted on the acquisition cost of that one. I have not been quoted on what this one looks like. Okay. I guess we need to get a that. Yeah, we just kind of need to, to, to figure out what that might look like. Um, okay. I believe Underwood can help us um, possibly secure that pricing as well. So, um, okay. yeah, we can uh, we can pull what strings we need to um, and make it work. Is this my book? Yeah, you can keep it. I've got two more. Excellent. Okay. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Yeah, I my guess business the next was approved, step... and and as soon Ooh, as it congrats. was, now we can actually start doing things. That's all it took. Well, shit. Hey yo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see what we can actually get going for for you guys. Better, better things. Hopefully, quicker. Or more things, hmm. rather. Maybe not better things. I don't know. Have That's you guys you. ever worked with anything like the occult? I don't know what that is. Like witchcraft? No, no, I've never worked with anything witchcraft related or a technology company. Good to know. Are you trying to like bewitch weaponry? No, but if I wanted to, I wanted to know if you could do it. Um, that would probably require a partnership. Maybe Cassandra Silverton could provide some assistance. Okay. All right. She has a lot more knowledge in that area. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what do you have you. in mind? I'm, I'm like um, super intrigued now. Which, which ray gun? Spell casting something. Possessions, like people, um, I don't know. Like, I mean, I know she does voodoo dolls. Like a way gate to send something back to hell. Oh no, that's a whole. Other, um, you know what? She absolutely is the right person. Would you want to like turn that into technology, like some kind of like put it on the end of a, a net gun and you shoot it at a distance and then send a demon back to hell? Yeah, I mean, not to get, like, lame or anything, like a proton pack. Something, something that we can, like, you know, set up with uh, Apple TV to open up a dimension. <laughs> Oddly specific and also extremely big Has at Bluetooth. the same time. Bluetooth and... Proton pack, Apple TV, Bluetooth, and then at the same time, I have no idea the context. Okay. And we need or, we need to scope this out. Um, or maybe like a something like a a cage where I can cage. put a uh, supernatural entity inside and they can't get back out. Um, are you just like referencing Ghostbusters now? Well, the proton pack, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything else, I'm just you know spitballing. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I I think maybe a meeting with. Cassandra Silverton is a great idea to figure out what may need to happen. Is, is, there, is there something happening that I should be aware of? No, this is just for fun. This is for fun? You, yeah. You, like, taunt demons into cages or... Have you ever been to the Church of Sluts? No, I have not. Okay, well, you're missing out. All right. Well, um, you want to put a cage in a church? Well, I mean... The cage needs to be, I need to be able to like put it on the back of like a truck and drive it away and, and then take it to max sec and then just put it in there and lock the door. Mm. These, you know, you need to be able, it needs to be mobile. Okay. So a, mo a mobile cage now. How, how big yeah. is the quote entity? Um, about five foot four. 75 year old man tiny hands i mean that's not a very big cage that's like a shark cage 
Yeah. I mean, it, it's yeah, he's a uh, bad posture. Bad posture. <laughs> crot crotchety old, hunched over yeah. man. Yeah, very old. Very old. That person just beat a guy off a bike with a bat for no reason at all. <sighs> okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, I can I can workshop the idea and see what she comes up with uh, in tandem with what we can work on together. Maybe some ideas. I just saw how, a how fast do you need it? Is this like a like a desperate need in the next twenty four hours kind of thing, or do we have some time? Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right. Well, in the meantime, we'll uh, get to work on your helicopter. Okay. Sweet. And then keep me posted on any other inventions you may desire. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, th thanks. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Thanks, Jenny. The first meeting with them was very different than this one. <laughs> okay, so the EMS thing, uh, we actually got approval to put NOS in the, the ambulances. We drafted a contract, it actually exists. Eddie, like wise guys, Eddie character is supposed to be the one to do it and then um, he disappeared for like three months. Yeah, that I have that contract all written up, drafted, and everything, and then he's like, just Eddie's just disappeared. And and the way that Cross worded this to us when we were talking about it was, um, so Emma Emma Gain was running for mayor uh, when she didn't win. Um, Eddie pulled the contract. Eddie, who's her boyfriend, uh, like, I mean, he was trying to, like, really word it in a way that, like, made it sound like Emma was in a bad way. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. Uh, one sec. I gotta respond to a DM. Let's see. Five minutes to storm. Sounds good. Go get some food. five minutes.
Wish you could like update your apartment with stuff. Who is this person in my apartment? I've never noticed that before. Excuse me? Apparently, <laughs> in a one one bedroom giant apartment. That's um, uh, I have never seen that person before. There's a random local in here. <laughs> this is a little disconcerting. Okay, that's better, I guess. All right. Yeah, I'm debating on whether or not I like the idea of like buying a house or or whatever. We'll go ahead and jump out. Um I like I kind of like RPing the the concept of like Sloan only commutes. I need to adjust my RP a little bit. I've been playing this like really hardcore moral whatever, not that I can't stay moral, but I think for the purposes of not screwing over Blau or Buddha, I need to like kind of adjust some of that stuff because I literally am like only here really to support that. Shouldn't be screwing them over in any type of way. That's something I got to figure out. Hopefully that meeting today or the meeting in an hour or so helps set those ground rules a little bit more. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that actually happens. Need to put together a proposal now. Also, Slew needs to get his pilot's license so he can actually fly this stuff.
this is going to be the part that I have to change because it's not going to go through Cerberus. It's going to go through Wildwood's contacts. Actually, I guess it could be be my company. No thanks. Oh, geez, not that. So hopefully what can come from this meeting, whether it's today or some point is a possibility of actually setting up a connection with servers industries to do this as well. So it doesn't always have to go through one of wise guys characters. It could be actually like RP that goes through servers industries. that's what they want. Here's the ironic part, is I'm about to steal his signature uh, or use his signature that I already have um, and just get his sign off on it.
I need to talk to Tim at some point.
All right, here we go. Sorry, I was creating a signature for these documents. And I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm going to put it in my phone here. Beep, beep. All right, let's see. Go to the courthouse, hang out until such a time as I need to meet the serve team. Well, until two days ago, he was a law abiding. 35 miles an hour follower too. Now he drives faster than that. Uh, oh my God. Uh, Kyle Avale, I think holds more to it than I do. It is so slow, which is part of the reason I was running everywhere. I actually was saying about whether or not I could legislate to increase the um, speed limit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much. Even with the speed limiter on, which is like, you, you gotta like casually coast to 35 and then hit the limiter which if you're stopping at red lights, doesn't actually matter all that much. Okay. See, can't do it. Trying to get it to like stick at 35 is the worst. Ugh. I hate driving in the city. I hate all the mechanics. So fun fact, uh, since we're just now watching, <laughs> I played this whole game on controller um, because I didn't have a PC until like a month ago. <laughs> 
And so I don't, I don't, I like, I don't play video games like at all. Uh, and so like all of the concepts of mechanics in general are like the worst to me. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, my walking style, I like, even when I talk in game, it's, um, you know, I'm pressing down the B button. Like everything is controller. I mapped all of the RP stuff to controller. Yeah, I pushed to talk is, is B. Just the person I needed to talk to. Hey, what's up? Oh my God, what happened? Uh, this is somebody that thought it'd be funny to do a shoe, to challenge, to do a bench, to try to today, to do, um, Whoever can punch the, the, the woman in the, the wheelchair the, the, the most. So what? both the defense and process execution to jump on that challenge. And and no one stopped them. Uh, I if they tried to do, I b -b blacked it out before that they could. Cass, I am so sorry. It's well, it's not a cookie cave. I'll, I'll be fine. Do you know who it was, at least? I do. do. I mean, are you going to be able to do anything about it? I've I've told people and people are looking into it. Um, despite me just saying that, that in terms of one of the people, I don't really want them to do it. Is it Mike? Mike Blanc. Yeah. Uh, so it was... Uh, the, the person who, the, 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 the challenge to his name was Mrs. Serpenta, and oh. then the, the people who did, took him to that challenge were, uh, Officer Crocodile's Steve, I believe his name was, and, um, and Bill May. Bill Mays. Yeah. So, so if you so see him... At the, the courthouse, uh, could you do, let me know if this is so I can not be at the, the courthouse. Yeah, absolutely. I'm astonished that Bill would do that. I, I, I still just don't understand why he did it for a sandwich, which it is, it seems like. And I just don't, I don't really know why he would. Hello, hello. Hi, Rosa. Uh, hello. But, 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 yeah, I woke up in the, the, the OR. I guess this is how I just did go into the surgery. Were you wanting to press charges? No. Okay, because I have it all recorded. Okay, the, uh, yeah, so this is some officers that talked to me. At the end of the last, this is Norm. Even the I told them I, I didn't want to press to charge it. Is, um, but they said they didn't really need me to do if there was enough evidence. I'm so sorry that happened to you. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. It, it is what it is. How's your day going? That's okay, but. Um, if you do talk to the officers, um, I can give a couple of call to and, and say that I have evidence. Yeah, like I said, they they did talk to me last. This is Storm and did you took my yeah. statement about it. Man, I'm sorry. I'm here if you need anything, okay? Okay, thanks. Of course, have a good one. You did too. I'm, I'm still honestly just in shock. I... I did, don't know what to do about it, and if it wasn't Bill, I would be processing to charge it is. But just because Bill's been so helpful to me since I've been in the wheel, he's been the one hanging out with me and to take me places it is. And I did just, I feel I owe him, which is just why I'm not first assuming to charge it is, but I'm not speaking to him. I just, I can't, I can't think of a reason to do that. I mean, what about this? Especially over, like, 
The, like, the, the guy was offering for them sandwiches, which is. That's outrageous. I mean, what about the officer, though? Like, are you pressing charges against him? Good evening. Really, CJ? Brother, I can't tell if somebody's going to be here. Sorry, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Bruh. Bruh, I can't tell if anyone's going to be here in the courtroom or the Bruh. reception, okay? Bruh. I'm going to tick it. I got a sign. Bruh. Bruh. Mm, I'm so, so sorry about that. I'm, I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry about that. Uh, were you so saying something? Such a thing? I'm so, so sorry. Um, I was asking, are, are you pressing charges against the officer? I, I just don't know. I know that the Chichi Charity is pursuing an eye investigation against him. And it's like, I feel like if I press it to charge it, it is against one. I should press it to charge it, it's like against both. This is so. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I don't think you have to. They're not exclusive. Yeah, I just don't know. I did told the, the officers I wasn't interested in pressing to charge it is against Bill. I didn't say anything. That's the thing about that the other guy just because I just don't know him. So I just don't. I'm. Weirdly enough, it's not that that much of a logical leap because I don't know him. Um, for the offer of this is which it is, or this is up like just some subs from Shrugway or this is something. I'm still not really sure. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Um, you wanted to talk with about something? Something. Well, it all seems kind of pointless in comparison. I'm sure, sure it's not. What's up? Um, I have been asked by Trooper Copper if it would be possible to create some kind of technology that could capture a 75-year-old, possibly oh, demonic so entity. Mm-hmm. Dang it. I'm so sorry. I'm so so I'm so 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 sorry about that. Um, capture sure. Uh, did you demand it again? Did he? Yeah, that's totally possible. Yeah, she specifically requested some kind of like cage enclosure though. That oh, like could a, be a cage? Transported mm. somewhere. I mean, it. I guess it depends. This is so it entirely just depends. This is on if if it's like. Is this is a cool or is this a spirit digital? If it's a spirit digital, then that's this is super easy. You, I think you can create it like, um, like a sort of like puzzle of a box mixed with the ghost capture digital sort of thing. Like be able to capture something like that and keep it detained. If it's physical, that's a lot harder to do. I just don't know if I think you can. I don't know if the factor degree would let me make a cage quite frankly, but. Yeah, she she said he's like a five foot four, seventy five year old man. So it sounds like he may be a little more physical, mm -hmm. with tiny hands. Was the description? Mm -hmm. oh, well, there are runes that, like, if they get a cage, there's runes and stuff that I can draw to help with the strength that's in it. Okay. Um, and like if they line the, the place with this assault, he should, shouldn't be able to, to leave unless this is he's like way, 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 way strong. Um, but I don't okay. think there's something I can physically make, but there's that that can be just done, you know? Good to know. I need to brainstorm a little bit then figure out more about this entity. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm absolutely all of the boys happy to, to help. Yeah, thank you. I knew you'd be the person to come to about it. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i sure we'll, if, if we can figure out some kind of technology to make this happen, we'll pay you handsomely as well. I just don't need versus something like this. I never did charge for paranormal investigations. This is less investigation, more paranormal. Mm. I I still put it under the like this is the same category. Did you just? <laughs> what do you, mm -hmm. what do you call I put this? it. 
capture. Uh, I uh, uh paranormal nine nine one 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 one. Yeah, that's that's probably a good way to put it. Like par paranormal mm -hmm. detectiveing that leads to arrest. Paranormal arrest. Mm -hmm. Paranormal b -b 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 arrest. There you go. F figured it out. Yeah, it's it, we gotta we gotta build a demon prison. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's entirely possible, uh, but it also so, so that the more we know about the, the entity and the, the, the like, if, if it's weaker, the, the, that's easier, you know? I would imagine if she was talking to me the way she was, it's probably not some weak entity. She was asking mm -hmm. for a more technological solution, mm -hmm. which makes me think it's got to be something bigger. Yeah, I I I get that this is that for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll just definitely see if I can think of anything in particular. But yeah, if he's occupying a body in this realm, um, then there's things you can do to do strength that is in a cage. But I don't think I'm allowed to to make a cage. You know. Yeah, we'll have to see who might be able to manufacture a cage. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's where I'll brainstorm a little. I'll, uh... mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I don't have an answer to that one yet. I mean, the, the, the fact that there is really the only place that that can make any of the thing right now. Let's make a phone call then. Hello. I need to pick your brain. Okay. Do you want to meet me somewhere or just over the phone? It's up to you. I'm uh, at the courthouse, unless you want to meet somewhere else. Uh, I. Is it a private matter? If it's a private matter, I told you it's not good that you uh, no, talk to me is, at the courthouse. This is not a private matter. This is a okay. matter okay. of paranormal investigation. Paranormal investigation? Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, sounds great. See you shortly. Bye-bye. Bye. Des is coming. Okay, 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 great. Uh, I need to, to think about some other thing for a few minutes. Okay, okay, I'm just okay. gonna stare at this wall. Sounds good. Oof, not close enough. Still not close enough. Well, if it, I mean, if it's wrong, move on. Do Whatever. I'll deal with it. Okay, so I, I had a meeting with Copper where we talked about getting her the helicopter. A helicopter. And um, in that meeting, she asked me if I had any technology that could possibly capture a five foot four, possibly demonic spiritual entity that was malicious. <laughs> Just putting it mildly. Uh, so, uh, I talked to Cass and the, the suggestion was a cage that could be transported on like the back of a truck or something. I, I assume OOC, this has something to do with the crow arc that's going on with Cleo and, uh, and Pez and all them. Um, but I don't know if that's actually, I mean, I, that's again, I just assume that's what it is. Couldn't tell you though. It's not. Hey. What's happening? Eh. Yeah. People threatening me for outside my control. Smile. Oh. Oh, they're like this. Hey, I have a deal with the. I work at a VLC, yeah? I have a deal with this person. Can you fulfill that deal? Even though they don't tell me what the deal is and I don't. Who they did the deal with? They said 
oh, some person who works there said, hey, I, I can have a deal. They don't know who it is. And then I'm saying, unless you give me a name, I'm not going to fulfill that deal. You're going to pay for the price. And you're saying, oh, shut up. I'm going to kill you. You know who I am. I said, I don't give a shit. Well, all right. Yeah. Uh, PDR having fun bowling. <laughs> there you go. There's a better explanation. Lean over all oh, rip. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I, I actually don't know why. Yeah, I've got like for once I've actually got a clear day. That's nice. I had a busier have morning, every... and I have at least one meeting this afternoon. What the fuck happened at the FIB build? What do you mean? What happened? When I arrived there and I saw Crystal bleeding. Oh, 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 earlier? Um, Fred shot her through the window thinking it was going to be bulletproof and it wasn't. Oh, God. You know, he shot me too. Today? Yeah. I feel like it was a misfire, but he did shoot me. Sounds yeah, like let Fred. that be a lesson. Yeah, I mean, well, PBSO learned a lesson. Hey, don't pull out the bullet. Basically, the bullet, if you've got, if you have, what's it called? Anything that is inside, anything that, how do I explain it? Yeah, if you've got a bullet in your body that you can pull out, don't pull it out. The bullet's acting as a bandage. You pull it out, it makes everything worse. People, for some reason, don't seem to know that. Yeah, I think a lot of people are probably not super informed as to how healthcare works. We need to get a first aid course through Learn Los Santos Smile. There you go. Why don't you lead it? I've got too much shit on my plate, man. Why don't you hire somebody to lead it? Yeah, true. We have one response. For Lana Santos, by the way, for the director. Oh yeah, sorry Rose, yep. I've, I've I've added a couple uh, more. Uh, Lauren lost the Santos digitals. Oh yeah, we're bringing it back. Oh, that's a good, nice. That was a bomb. I w w wasn't sure if it did ever got got released. This is started it. I remember the the while it could go, but never heard any about any classes. Is it actually happening? Yeah, yeah, basically, uh, Men's Office is going to hire a director. They're going to fucking do everything. Um, it's basically Parts and Rec. You know how they, right, Parts nice. and Rec has, like, a director? They're in And we don't mm -hmm. touch anything at all. And we just give them money. They're going to basically do that. Like nice. Yeah. It's definitely the given best choice. People, yeah, given people in this city, how do I explain it? Instead of having everything like micromanage, like in this city, freedom is what people need. If you give so if you give someone freedom to make their own decisions on what to do, it's great. Uh, Sounds good, Rose. Left to oh, me. Hello. Enjoy your weekend. I'm okay. definitely not doing anything this weekend. The only reason I'm like hanging out in the city today is because uh, uh -huh. I've got the uh, Cerberus meeting. Mm -hmm, no worries. I'll go ahead and check out. No, I mean, I believe you. I gotta verify. So, I have to verify this stuff. Listen, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I gotta say, hey, let me just check. Is this all good? I'm exactly saying I don't believe you. <laughs> Timmy is wrong. Yeah, Timmy's wrong. I do believe you. I just gotta verify. I gotta do my. Yeah, you and me both. At the very least, I'm hoping it just leads to like a, a mutual understanding. Mm-hmm. All right.
Goodbye. I guess the other option is getting ocean dumped today. Or throwing off a building. Okay. If Kevin Brown comes in here asking for me, I'm not here. Who? If who? Kevin Ram. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, he's gonna probably harass more Dev Divers for business, his business. Oh, good, great. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it'd be fucked. But oh well. What's the update on it? Uh, denied. If you. Don't piss off all of the deputy mayors who don't basically don't piss them all off to a point where they're whenever you submit a business proposal, it literally just prejudices them. Mm -hmm. it, it literally means no one can take your proposal. Yeah, I know that the, um, this is so clerk can did you deny a license assistance for any v -v 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 reason? And did you, uh, so, so if we did you deny a license assistance, you should usually at least this is I put a note onto someone's profile of being like, this is why I was uncomfortable giving this person to send this license to send the time and did most of the time that their clerk searched to judge see that that they will just just outright to deny that the person is in the license to send from that they're on. So it's almost as if like you should treat working government like human beings if you want your stuff. Almost. I, I gotta go do these relics, I guess. All right. <laughs> I'll be here. At least for now. I'm just trying to just be careful with where I look, but I, I mean, what I used to do is I used to just hide under the, the, the desk and then put up a sign that's just saying I'm here. If I can't get to down onto the ground, I'm back into the chair now. I guess it's like just facing the other direction. Talk to me. I'm listening. Yeah. I'm going to sign up. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Here. I'm Let present. <laughs> I promise. I, I literally, my sister sign said, clerk hide editing under the door, county clerk's hiding under the desk if, if you need help. Uh, but but the, the thing is, people just don't read it. Ah, uh, yeah, people don't and read it. So, um, no, they did don't. I'm maybe the, one of the, the, the uh, also says Antitos learns that the things needs to be how did you read. Uh, but, 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 I'd put the sign up, and then I'd hear people walk up. I could see like their faces just a little bit, and I'd just be like, "Hi, how can I help you?" And I was this is a care. I think ninety five percent of the people who came in here, uh, there was one guy because my cat was just sleeping near. Bye bye bye. There was one guy who was convinced it was my cat to talking, and he didn't bat an eye. He and I only know that they even thought it was my cat because. And I finally, when he finally saw me, he's like, oh, I thought thought it was your cat. And I just was like, you had a normal conversation with me. Did you, you thought you were having a normal conversation with my cat? Seems totally reasonable. What world is this guy mm -hmm. from? Harry Potter? Honestly, what the hell? Just a... Casual McGonagall reference. <laughs> As one does. As one does, exactly. Yeah, last this is a storm. Um, 
I I managed to just sign in and blah 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 and Bill was this is here. Uh even though I saw he was assisting to in and he tried to to call me like to twenty to ten or to twenty minutes. This is later. And I did just I didn't pick a kick up. I like to deny this to the call. And this is any need to do the afterwards. He just sends out a just saying, um, why bother that they're having county city clerks if they got the, the, the phone and that they're never here. And I was just like, are you kidding me right now? Did <laughs> why wouldn't did I answer the phone? Bill? It's this is a mystery. I don't understand Bill. You know, he's the reason I got kidnapped by Mike Block. What? Oh, right. You did it only because of that. Jesus Christ. I... Uh, I just don't understand. I did it just... Like he doesn't the, think the, sometimes. The, the, the other the third guy... Sure, I just don't know him. I'm just scared of him, but, 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 but I'm not... Mad about it. Bill, I'm... I just don't get mad easily. I'm really mad, and I'm really upset sad about it. Understandably so. I mean, someone you count as a friend, at the very least a colleague. Mm -hmm. That's just... It's truly just awful. I'm, I'm mad for you. If it was an assault, I would punch him, but it's assault, so I won't. Uh, no, I, I've got this is some is this a scary friends, um, and is it, uh, I meant to do one of the them is my boy Nina, and um, so she came into to do today, and this is how me beat up, and this is why I vaguely told her, but but and I didn't mention. Bill or Kick Rock, I didn't just mention it to the, the other guy, Mrs. Sister Pentita, and she, she was just like, I need to, to go to take care of something. And she left it at the store and Sister sent out like a twat and all kicky caps being like, Mrs. Sister Penta, where the, the fuck are you? You mother to their fucker beating up a woman in a wheel to tear to Jesus Christ. And then to charity texted her, B -B Bill and Kick uh, Rock and Crockett to dial Sister's names. And so, so the, then she sent very similar to the to watch them and I'm just like I don't want no Stirring and then she, the she told me she, she was buying she told me she, she was buying a c -c crowbar and I was just like no you don't I don't I don't want anyone to get hurt did you just did you just because someone hurt me did it does not mean I want them to be hurt in return you know that that's just continuing with the cycle of violence and it doesn't help anything Yeah, and so, it's not yeah. necessary. So, for certain friends, I'm being very careful not to, to just to say names. Uh, even though they still probably find it out that they're other than their friends, and so maybe I should, shouldn't be saying names in general. But, 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 but I don't know. I mean, it's good to know that you got a lot of friends who are feeling somewhat defensive, though. It's it's you know that it, it's nice to know people are mad at it on my behalf. I did just hope, hope people aren't just hurting people on my behalf. Yeah. After to her, um, the last this is the time I was in a wheelchair when I was when I was attacked by a serial killer. I did a lot of friends who were like, "Did you just give us a name?" And I'm like, "No," oh. because you are scaring me. B U D D H A? I think so.
Cassandra, what happened to you? Um... I see some people b b beat me up for the hand to do it in court yesterday. People beat you in court? Is that what I'm hearing? Mm -hmm. Who beat you in uh, Um, Both of the defense and process execution. They beat you physically for sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Who were they? Hello, Sloan. Uh, um, Officer Cricket Crocker to the dials this is Steve and did, um, B -b 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 Bill Mays. Bill Mays and Officer Crocodile Steve decided to put their hands on you. Am, am I correct in this? Um, I did think Officer Steve uses this is a but just on, but, 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 but yeah. And Bill Mays decided to put his hands on you. Uh, yes. <clears throat> First of all, how are you feeling? Not good, great. Every little thing hurts. Um, I woke up in the DOR. This is so I guess this is I had this is her digitary again. I see. I'll I'll be fine. I'll be, be, be fine. I did this just this is so much time to that's all. It seems that you're perpetually healing, Cassandra. I Yeah, I just don't know. Do you do you need anything right now? No, I I'm okay. 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 Um Did you do you need Thing. I'm happy to do that. Help. I need. I need to just. A breather. No, I need you to just. Just, just, just do what you need to do. If if you need to go somewhere, I'll help you do that. Just live. That's 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 all I need from you. Is just be you. I'm, I'm gonna just go my for uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna okay. go outside for a moment. Excuse me. Uh oh, she's going mama mode. Yeah, she, she was one of the, the, the people I was just not to just say names to do, but I also so kind of knew that, that I couldn't just avoid just saying names to. Yeah. I was gonna stop when I got inside. Don't worry, bestie. Uh, hello. Did you, do you guys need help with anything thing, or did you just check uh, kicking records? Oh, I'm just I'm just looking at the records. Um... All right, if you're doing up needing help, did you just let us know? Well, I don't, so I'm good. What's up, Fate? Have a good rest of your day today. Could you guys imagine if this was like Ready Player One? Like to role play in that capacity would be insane. And the, the next question, how far do we think we are from that? I'm so sorry. I seem to be distracted to her from what you wanted to talk to her about. Oh, no, that's fine. I am not in any rush. Right? That's kind of what I think is like, it'd be so cool to VRRP. VRP. Maybe that's what the next iteration of No Pixel will be in GTA 6 will be in RP or uh, VR, VR RP, VRP. Is 
is DW, does anyone know, is DW streaming today? Or is he in the city? Because if he's not, then I'm definitely not going to try and do this meeting. I'll find other stuff. I didn't think he was. I don't know that he's usually around to do like Friday stuff. And he's usually on at like 11 o'clock Eastern, so. Could be, yeah, he could be offline. Uh, what is this? I was gonna say, uh, did you tell him, did you Ducker said something about the mayor's office? This isn't just a formal statement. There, you could go. Yeah, that's not happening. What's that guy's name? Tom what? He's more than welcome to no balls me. Oh God. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't assist this with you, but that's for sure. I would love to see a, a defamation case in this city. Yeah, now that I mentioned, I don't think I've ever, I've ever really seen one. I was just seen for emotional distress, uh, but, but this is seen for defamation and all that could be a really fun way to make a lot of money oh god hey ma'am go running don't you ever your life hello joseph hey mr sloan how's it well, going that's what the sign says. Good, how are you, you, better, you know uh, i'm getting over a pretty in. bad i think but uh otherwise i'm doing good man sorry sorry to hear yeah. you're sick it it's not a deal um I was just calling you to follow up on our uh, discussion about the grant and whatnot. Yep. I, uh, I am chasing down a lot of grants. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of things that we're trying to work on with Mickey. He's been uh, a little out of touch the last 
probably a week or so, even since the re-election, um, taking care of some things out of the city. So at this point, we're trying to figure out uh, what some next steps are, but they are sitting on his desk re being ready to be reviewed. I think yours is uh, probably towards the top, along with quite a few other things. So oh, it's yeah, there. still waiting, still oh, pressing. Yeah, the manager in me, you know, it's, it's good yeah. to follow up every once in a while. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. If if you didn't, then you wouldn't be doing your job. So, yeah. I out of sight, out of mind. As I... Oh, yeah. For All right, sure. man. I appreciate you, Mr. Sloan. Have a nice day. All right. You too. Thank you. Where did they go? Oh, uh, yeah, you missed Shadiko yesterday. Yeah, I told Alex yesterday that you might need, or she might need to stick around early in the morning or something if she wanted to meet. Yes, sir. He's chatting shit. He's more than welcome to. Uh, We'll yeah. have a lawyer send over the paper shortly. Yeah, basically what it was, was him saying, oh, he wanted to ask what was the mayor's office comment on the dodge stuff allegations. And then he, I said, hey, I'm not going to comment on anything about that. And then he was talking unrelated about Sheriff Carl Pred doing, helping make your wish kids. And then I said, oh, he's a hero. So great, my words have been taken out of context. Yeah, and that's that's called defamation. And so when when the mayor's office wins a crap ton of money because he has uh, abused his position, um, be thankful. Hell yeah. Um, which lawyer do you prefer to work through? Because I'm going to begin drafting these things shortly. Oh wait, actually, so no. Oh, I'm not playing games. If if someone's going wait, to like legitimately, wait, who is CNT News? It, do it really doesn't matter. It, it honestly doesn't matter. If they're going to publicly defame the mayor's office, uh, you are you are a not not a representative of the mayor's office when you say no comment uh, and they take it out of context. That is not a representation of the mayor's office, especially when in yeah. public forum, the response from two of the officials of the mayor's office says no. Uh, no, no. So um, that is now public record because it is on Twitter. Um, he can be prepared to hear from our lawyers. Yeah. You know what? Give Bill May some work. I feel like you'll be excited to do stuff like that. Uh, sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, if you if you really want to pursue this, go ahead, Bill Mays. All right. Here we go. I, yeah. I'm going to go and, and read the twats and then uh, draft up some uh, articles of... What do we call this? Defamation, probably. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate this. This is going to be fun. <laughs> no worries. In a bit. All right, man. Later. Bye.
Mickey's not leaving office. Hello, I was wondering if I could get a judge's opinion on the recent allegations of Kyle Fred hosting a dog fighting ring in the back of MRPD. I do not believe no, that, that there's... there is any judges around at the moment. This is sorry, I'm so sorry. No, and we have no comment at this time. Alrighty. You guys have a good day. Mm -hmm. Let me get a tissue for you. Uh, I'm fine. I'm you're not wrong, Fate. Um, it's going to be whether or not this dude is willing to settle out of court. Here you are. Thank you. I already told you, you are not a bother. You have never been. I mean, clearly, a more bother to the bill than the knife of the boss because I can't for the think of a reason. I just, I just, just, I don't, I don't know. I mean, physically, I'm in a lot of pain, but it hurts just kind of more emotionally because because I just thought he was my friend. I just thought I was gonna be nothing. Hey, Ms. Garcia, this is Sloan Kelly from the mayor's office. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am well. I have a question slash proposition for you. Yeah, what's up? What is your interest in prosecuting a defamation case? Um, against who? Uh, this asshole on Twitter that's claiming the mayor's office is in support of a dogfighting ring. Oh, um, what's the asshole's name? Just to make sure I don't have a conflict. Tom Tucker or something? Uh, yeah, I don't know Tucker. Yeah, um... I'd be interested for sure. Perfect. I have, I'm only going to be around for a little bit today, but I'll be around tomorrow and Sunday and all the, all next week. Perfect. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm still waiting to see what I've decided not to do anything at the moment because I want this report to come out to see what he says. Um, okay. So far, he has uh, openly just, he's used the, the office of the mayor uh, inappropriately on Twitter. Uh, I suppose we should probably get some some photos of that. Um, and then in response to what I said, uh, he he claimed Ayub said something out of context uh, that he is using in, in this article. So uh, okay. to defame the, the mayor's office versus an individual, um, this is this is an area that I think should be pursued. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. So I think this will be a, a really interesting way to uh, make sure this dude's business does not continue. Okay. Fantastic. Sounds good. Just keep me updated. Will do. And I'll send you my contact info so you've got it, or at least my name. Yeah, sounds good. Wonderful. Thanks, Ms. Christie. Looking right. forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. bye. Sloan, did you want to talk to me? Uh, seems there are more pressing things at the moment. Well, I was uh, going to uh, go to the beach. If you, uh, we were going to go to the beach, get some air for Cassandra. Uh, I may have a meeting coming up. I should probably mm -hmm. be relatively present for on the off chance that happens. Uh, basically, my question, very simply, is do we have the means of making a cage that could fit a human. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is something you want of the factory? If it's possible. Mm. I'll have to talk to Mr. Miller about it. Perfect. What is this for? Uh, it was a request by Trooper Copper about a possible... Um, this is so strange to say out loud. Um, five foot four, hunched over, demonic old man that they're trying to capture and transport to MaxSec. Okay, so I'm going to uh, 
email Mr. Miller right now. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, if you want to email me with the details, please do so. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I get everything that you want. Uh, please do that as soon as possible, and then I will... Um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that, we'll get that sorted, I think, but, you know, it's up to Mr. Miller. Perfect, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. This is for Trooper Copper? Yes, that's right. Okay, alright. We're done on that email, and, uh, good luck on your meeting, sir. Thanks, you're the best. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, the interesting part of this is that, like, the whole... Amber Heard thing <laughs> having just gone down being what it is was mostly press based hey yo excuse me about that what's good yes sir how's it going I got a question for you Holmes okay what's up uh, how does someone get, uh, what you say, uh, like weapons license? How do I get one though? Uh, you talk to a clerk or a judge. Um, you have to have been in the city for seven days to be able to get it though. Seven days for? All right. Yep. Take less. Perfect. You how long do I know? I, I don't know how time, time flew way by, you know? Yeah. I was locked up in the hole for like six months Vato. gotcha yeah uh you have a clean record yeah clean as a whistle perfect yeah um then i mean probably the best way to do it is just to talk to one of them um you can call them uh and if you pull up your phone there's the department of justice app at the very bottom um and then whoever is on duty it looks like cassandra silverton and odessa pearson you can give either one of them a call and ask and they should be able to look it up for you, tell you how much time you have left if it's um, more than seven days. All right, thank you. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. All right, well, yeah, I'll talk to Sloan, and if the mayor's office wants to hire me for a defamation libel suit, uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, help. <laughs> that Ayub? Yeah, yeah. It, uh wait for him to contact me okay i'm just gonna stand here staring at him then until he contacts me <laughs> good to see you well man. no i'm literally a foot in front of him so i'll just stare at him until he contacts me okay bye. you're gonna be really disappointed when i tell you i've already called another lawyer you're joking i am absolutely serious why'd you do that because i texted you about beating our friend cassandra you asshole no you didn't oh i mean it was 30 shugway subs man or 50 shugway subs man That is the worst excuse I've ever heard. I got a demon. <laughs> I'll do anything for Shrugway subs. Quit your job for a hundred Shrugway subs. Uh, my eyes aren't open. You gonna do it without my eyes open? Make you quit your job? Yeah. I mean, my eyes are open. They can all hop here. For well, no, my eyes aren't open. So you'll give me a hundred Shugway subs if I go quit right now. If you if you quit and uh, are yeah, of course I don't I don't give a shit. <laughs> Which lawyer did you fucking contact? Because there's no fucking senior attorneys on duty. Uh, Garcia. 
Ah, oh, for fucks. Whatever. All right, we're done. Yep. No, I, I, oh, yeah, go, go ahead. you're going to take this fucking being investigated for threatening to kill a cop. Fuck this shit. How, how do I know any of this I'm stuff? I'm literally I don't know fucking, no, I'm literally fucking done with DOJ. This, <laughs> no, I'm. That, that's really funny for a guy that literally beat somebody in court yesterday to be done with the DOJ. I beat people in court all the time. And, and then you wonder why you have your bar license suspended. Nah, I... Fuck this. She hasn't even filed the paperwork for my fucking suit, so I'm putting a bar complaint in. Fuck it. Do it. Let's be petty, y'all. I'm here for it. I've been trying to be fucking... I, I fucking... How often have I approached you guys for fucking work? All the time. And then you beat Cass. Okay, and? She's not she's not filing a suit against you, by the way. What about the cop with a nightstick? Yeah, that's that's under discussion as I understand it. She doesn't want to file you know. anything against you though. But she is pissed at you. Yeah, and And you're just okay with that. Well on the fifteenth I'll kick her some of the subs. Oh my god. What? You don't even have the subs yet? No, I have them. I just can't wait until payout. <laughs> I think you're missing the point. What is, what is the point, Bill? It was actual Shrugway sub in Quink that we were earning during the court case for Mitch TV. And Mr. Penta changed our lives for what we did. You can't hold that against me. Are you really that down bad that you needed... What the, what the fuck has the mayor's office ever done for me? Your guess is as good as mine. I see what it's like to be in triple digits now. I'm a baller. I'm hot shit. I also beat out the guy who had like 8,000 Shrugway subs, so I was kind of happy. Shrugway. Subs. Subs. For Mitch TV. For Mitch TV. Mm-hmm. 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 Shrug way sub sub shrugs mr penta who is mr penta uh his name is robert uh he's a really nice guy okay. and uh goes by bob bob okay. yeah yeah and uh he was filming his show all day yesterday okay he's just a sadistic dude who thought it would be funny to beat a woman in a wheelchair I don't know where that came from, but he's rich and he's giving away his money to the less fortunate. He even tried to get her to do uh, um, a challenge, but no one would let her. So, she got fucked. Seems like it. Hold on a second, I'm looking for something. Uh, fate to your question. I'm sure they did. Um, I'm that weird guy, though, that kind of like looks at the actual realities of the case. It was a published article that the whole thing was based on. And then, yeah, Pinto was actually giving away money yesterday for doing game challenges. Interesting. Classic Pinta. The RP. Hey, Rich Film is. It exists beyond an individual stream. Yeah, what's up?
No, there are no wills. There are no wills in uh, Los Angeles. No problem. Have a good day. Mm, bye. I mean, those 50 Shrugway subs conversion from Los Santos to, to Canadian, that's like it's like 175 it's, it's Shrugway like, subs. Yeah. 100, yeah. 175. Yeah. yeah. Really rolling in the shrugs. Totally worth it. It's like half a month of prio. <laughs> oh, sorry. Jesus, Bill. No, I was, I was okay. I think we've all figured out I'm a whore. I'll do anything for money, which is Clearly. why I've been trying to get work from the mayor's office. And where the fuck is this lawyer? You you called her the retainer, and she's not even here. Well, that's because I didn't call her here. I called her to discuss what the terms would be as soon as this article is published. Uh, dating the biggest gangster in the city and you're using a crypt... Okay. I don't know anything about her. I just called her. Grayson yelled and screamed at her in the middle of open court. He hasn't even done that to me. So what's what's the deal? Talk to me. What's What's her thing? She is arrogant. She is dating uh, criminal organizations and she threatens cops and is being investigated for witness tampering. She's a she's dating a, a criminal organization? Uh, like a whole? Vinny Pisson, the head okay. of it. Who's he the head of? Fucking. Uh... Chang Gang. And he's not K is. He just heads up Maldini's. Unless things have changed. I'm not up on the meta. I can't find it. But he's at least a shot caller for CG. Oh, okay. So. All right. God damn it. All the shrugs. I'm just gonna, zero, I don't know, go zero fucking. shrugs given. <laughs> I'll just go fucking walk around the beach with my metal detector. Because she's allowed to work other jobs while a lawyer, and I can't, so. Is that right? If she, there's no she law got that, work uh, for me. Additional, additional train ticket situation? Yep. Yep. Ah, as it were. Yep, so comes in on her own ticket and can do whatever she wants whenever she wants. <sighs> I need food. So do I. Want to go get some food? I guess. I guess. You mad at me? Is that, yeah. that's, that's yeah, I am. I'm so mad. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad. You know, you know the best part? You know the best part? What's the best Talking part? Talking to you about a case, she breached uh, the attorney guidelines. So, Which is what? That she's not sl supposed to solicit another lawyer's client. What or, do you mean? Uh, deal it's in the attorney guidelines. She didn't solicit another client. Okay, well, she's not supposed to talk about cases. Why not? With another uh, lawyer's client. You mean that retainer that you forget that we have until it's suddenly convenient? What? When there's actual work to do, you mean? <laughs> oh, heaven forbid that I remember it when there's actual work to do. But not in a court case where there are judges around and you defame the uh, the judge or the mayor's office. Uh, that's okay. I got an extra five subs yesterday every time I insulted the uh, judges. That sounds about right. I need you to drive. Okay. Long story. Get in. 
I'll be right. I'll be thinking for a minute. Right, exactly. It's not a solicitation. Sloan doesn't trust Bill anymore. literally just went. Not quite close enough, but okay. Vigor account. This image requires a vigor account. Yeah, he, he doesn't trust Bill because Bill's the reason he got stuck in with the blocks. This example with Cassandra, like, it's it's at this point a no-go. I understand you won't work, but you messed up too many times. You mazed up. We could still be friends, but... Fifty subs is a hundred and twenty-five American dollars, and that's before tax. It's like cool. I think you only get two fifty of the five dollars. Hundred and seventy-five Canadian. Bill's Canadian. See if the rooster screws me when I go inside. Yep.
Hello, if anybody's here, I am blind and deaf. Again, the roosters is not friendly to me. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Doesn't look like doesn't look like it. Ugh. There we go. Just a casual tackle. Yeah. Do a quick lap, BRB. Not heard from Lang. Is that injury? I thought he said an hour or two after a storm. Okay. 
I texted him to ask if he's still willing to meet on the off chance uh, Dean's not around. Dean W. Just kind of wait and see. He's a scary man. I don't want to interrupt. It's also Friday. I kind of figured maybe stuff needs to happen next week. Still nothing. You back yet? Go someplace I can see. As soon as the barrier breaks. To ooh -ooh. <laughs> nice, Rez.
Yeah, Shatastic, you still around? And what do you want us to call you? Is Evil Shatner the most appropriate? <laughs> I love you. Love you. Sorry. It's okay. I can't see anything in Roosters, so I kind of just left. <laughs> Interesting. Where do you want to go? I'm, I'm just kind of going to Uwu or Maldini's or whatever. <sighs> I mean, if you want to fucking support criminals, we can go to Maldini's. I mean, it seems to me like basically every restaurant is owned by some criminal faction or associated Burger with Shot's it. owned by a cop. I've heard stories about how Shelly was before she was a cop. No. Anna told Don't me talk yesterday, about my client like that. Anna told me yesterday that they used to sell human meat. Don't talk about my client like that. I wonder if Anna's around. She is not. Oh. She's kind of been like racing through my head all day, though. You can't keep her out of your head? Can't keep her out of my head. Oh, well. chat why you chat need her works. you want to talk to her oh no i just mean like i feel like she's been talking to me all day but you know in my head oh oh is she uh does she have a shrugway sub <laughs> she does now oh good actually i don't want uh, stop here. Don't move. Make sure you look your eyes at me. Okay. You're looking through your eyes? Yep. Okay. Because everyone in your head should make sure that they look at the button right here and then check their Amazon Prime. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> See, I told you I'm a whore. I'll do anything for money, including beating a woman <laughs> in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. <laughs> Who had knee pads because I was trying to date her. <laughs> I just have this. this intrusive thought of Anna saying minus one, Bill, minus one. It's all a fucking minus one, you know. Oh, man. You know, it's better than when we met with the MC and we heard about Reed sending dick pics yesterday. No, what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, defended with sending dick pics to him. Yeah, all right. Yep. How come the gas gauge is up? I've got it at like three quarters. Yeah, but like it should be almost empty by now just driving across the city. After just driving? Well, it's because I don't I don't drive recklessly. Oh. oh. Gas lasts longer when you stop at red lights and drive the speed limit. It's green. It just okay. turned green. Okay. So 190 is bad. Roughly. Oh, okay. Have you met with, uh, Sheriff Peretti yet? Uh, no, actually. God damn it. I locked it. It's fine. Do you want to meet with him? I would love to. Yeah, there's no way it goes 190. I've had to fill up on gas twice in the month that I've had my car. He might be dead. He's not picking up. Oh, okay. What's up, girl? I 
told you I'd do that. Hey, does anybody well, got a VPN second. I can buy? No, I don't, Mr. Rack. Or a laptop? Very uh, there's a, a store that sells uh, VPN. Yeah, I don't think they sell them inside, though. And I don't see anybody with the yellow pages. We sure? Here. Yeah. Oh. Is he gonna do it? No. Can it's I actually zero. just keep this? This shit is ass. What the hell? Well, I. The, what you do you want you me to do? It. Can I keep it? I, I use it all the time. Just remember, you get arrested, you call Bill Mays. I okay? appreciate you, Bill. Yeah. Difference, actually. Hi. Hi. Sorry. I oh. left. Hi. What can I get? Uh, could I have? Thank you for uh, your patience. I appreciate it. No worries. Could I have a curry combo, please? Yeah, sure thing. Maybe. Yeah, that makes sense. My arm's just casually through the chair. Alrighty, go ahead and start. <laughs> Good morning from Copium Units. Alrighty, here you go. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Bye. Hi. Hi, boss. <laughs> Come here. What can I get for you? Um, I'm hungry, so something filling, okay. please. Filling. And then Sando. whatever Bill wants. Oh wow. Uh, I'll get the same. Same thing. Okay. Two yeah. filling combos coming up. How's your day going? Um, it's fine so far. How about you? Good. Uh, it's been this so far, so, you know, and mainly on my own, so that's... Oh. Yeah. Okay. You go ahead and fight. Adults yep. ready, the political yeah. advisor for the mayor wanted to uh, meet with them, and he goes, are you the political advisor? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Too. Yeah, I told him no. I told him you're a legitimate person. <laughs> Even though that would have been funny. That would have been funny. I also told him you were going to slash Are pay. Are you clean uh, the place? I, uh, no. <clears throat> I just, uh. You don't have to do that. Okay. Here, Sloan, you can take it. There you go. It's on the tray. Bill, you can go ahead and grab yours. Thanks, Ava. You're very welcome. Yeah, I, I don't know if you're around tonight, but are you going to be around on Sunday? Uh, undecided. Probably not. I have uh, mm. an event outside the city that I need to go to. Ah, uh, okay. I'm so desperate for the two of you to link up because I think. Yeah. The conversation, you know, would be beneficial to getting things started. Absolutely. If I am, it'll probably be later. Um, yeah, but... it's usually the same for him, to be honest. With okay, you. then maybe that would be good. All right, hopefully. I might, I might try and pop in at least to have a little meeting. I mean, you know That'd where be... to find me via email. Yeah, if yeah, he, yeah. If he hops in. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right, well, enjoy cool. your food. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> might have to bribe him with. Uh... A sandwich or or a bento box or something to get them to come. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, <sighs> you know, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Disappointed. I'm just disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, it's it's very very rude in the city to sit down and just start eating. Is that right? Yeah, you you need to wait a while. Get the ambience going of the place, talk a little, and then and then you'll know when the time's right to start eating, and you find it much more rewarding and filling. So, oh, you might even be smarter. Who knows? Interesting. Well, then I'll mm -hmm. hang out then. Yeah, I was just be... nearing death. So, oh, there's the first aid store next door. As it seems, yes. 
Have you seen their products yet? I have. I've, I've got a copium bandage in my pocket. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I, you don't I have actually... the Info Scuff one? That's my I... favorite. <laughs> I, I have tried them all. I think the the uh, band, Bandy ad is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like the other description. I don't, you don't know why the car fell on you. It just did. It just did. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so how do I wood cast back over? I don't know that you can in any time soon. She doesn't even want to be in the same room as you, dude. You know, she can't really control that if I walk in with my class 2 on my back. Yep, that's true. Just pass out and be in the same room, huh? And when she wakes up, we can talk. I think I'm on to something. That seems even worse and extremely manipulative. No. I'm, I'm sure just, she would appreciate I'm that. I'm just controlling the circumstances so we can talk and I can apologize. <laughs> manipulating someone into an apology. No, not manipulating. Just controlling. <laughs> controlling the factors that lead up to the apology. Definitely not manipulation. No. No, no. How no. do you define manipulation? Uh, manipulating is when you manipulate someone to uh, do what you want them to. See, I think not... the, the definition for manipulate, let's pull it up real quick. Ah, right here. Handle or control, typically in a skillful manner, to control or influence cleverly, unfairly, or unscrupulously. Okay, hmm. are you saying I can do it in a skillful manner? Let's be honest. No, I, I think it's more the definition. unfairly part. Oh, that's not fair. Unfair well, ex enough. exactly. It's unfair. <laughs> that's, that's literally the definition. <sighs> Fucking even when my eyes aren't open, I get a message saying minus one. <laughs> Shit, did you message him? <laughs> Look, I don't care. I have no shame. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> and is in your head too, huh? In my head, in my head, zombie, zombie, hey, hey. No. <laughs> God, you Oh, that's fantastic. Or just the music. What about music? I think. Um, okay, so now now that we've been here a while, you're thinking, right? Yeah. Think about three gold coins. Uh-huh. When that's full, the jar, that's when you get the maximum benefits from from these places. Ah. Okay. So the more it adds up, the more you get out of the food. Interesting. Because you want to sit and enjoy people and talk and visit. Or be like me and just sit at Rooster's Rest all day and do paperwork when I actually had cases and work to do. Hmm. As it were. So we can eat now? I mean, if you want, I'm... I mean, well, are I you that fucking hungry? Not, Just fucking well, eat. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I see. It's, it's you know, like, I'm, I'm only thinking like a quarter of the way there. We're just trying to like, you know, ease in. We're easing is what we're doing. Just spit on it if you want to ease in. Uh, oh. I don't know that that's really necessary the way I do it, but okay.
I'm going to send you something for you and your eyes. Okay. It really subs up the boot yesterday. I mean, I got a shoe here. Told you anyone got this for Penta. All right, he did. Wait, no, the guy's on the ground slurping it up. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. I really have a shoe in my mouth right now. Yeah, Croc just kind of disappeared. Oh, well. Uh oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you know, I made people laugh. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. Sorry, Fate. Only because he DM'd it to me. My political RP stream with 80s style synth wave made in 2022. <laughs> Maybe we'll do React Andy from now on. I don't know what to react to React Andy though. Like, oh, that was funny. That's meta. I'm, I'm clearly not a good streamer. Like, I, I know that. <laughs> See how nice it is when you get to sit and relax and you're not just fucking running in, eat, not letting the food settle. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, just, you know, restful. See, has fucking Rosa ever taught you shit like that? I don't know. I literally had one interaction with the woman. I'm too many. You don't need any. Gulp. I mean, that's just an 80s style guitar on top of this. This isn't even really synth wavy. hear you if you're talking
You can hear everybody else. I don't actually need anything. I just came in out. Uh, I can take my full game. Well, um, yes, sir. Oh my god. What? Anyways, why doesn't the mayor's office have general counsel? Because there's no one ever around. <laughs> and nobody seems trustworthy or reliable. I mean, you keep doing that, but you keep also mazing up around me, dude. Why Why are you so worried about a DOJ employee and what happened to her? It's not the only instance, my guy. Oh, shit. I'm blaming it on you that I got kidnapped by my block, Mike Block. Told, did I not tell you, do not meet him? Actually, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. And Not until after I met him. There was people in the lobby when you went to go meet him, and I said, do not meet him. You should have said that louder. I missed that. I went running after you out the door. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't think so. <sighs> that seems like a good cover. Did I also tell you not to make promises to him? Again, after the fact, it's too late. Well, I'm gonna call Sai then. So you're gonna call Sai? Mm hmm. Sai and I had a great conversation. After he hit you? Oh, yeah, we talked for like 15 minutes. It was really good. I so like that guy. Why did you make it seem so bad? Well, because he hit me at 150 and then punched me in the face a few times. Okay, well. I mean, Welcome it was to Los still, still a bad experience, but uh, that Welcome to Los Santos. doesn't mean he's a bad dude. It just means that the, the experience was bad. He's a, he's a prospect for one of the biker clubs, eh? That you're going to meet with. Okay. You have a problem sitting still, Bill? Sometimes, yes. Seems like it. <sighs> he hired Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Cut for an attorney who's had their barley since two weeks. I think I think the mayor's office needs a general counsel who's always available. Why is it so bright in here? Oh. That's a meteor. Got it. I don't know. And they're hitting in weird places too. One landed in the mirror park. Jeez. Ava, are you good? <laughs> cool. Do you have a metal detector? Yeah. Oh. Okay, bye. Oh, fuck, I got a payment due today. Uh, I gotta go find a bank machine. I'll be right back. Outside to the right.
Yep. Do you have a preference of a design? Uh. Rubbers. I can have a rubber seal. I don't care, really. All right. They are so close. Why are there so um, many? Hello. Hey, Mr. Buddha. Son Kelly, how are you? Doing all right, my man. Uh, Dean did not wake up today, so we're going to have to postpone the meeting. Perfectly fine. Yeah, I just want to double check, make sure I was doing my due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to meet on Monday if it's uh, if possible. Yep, that sounds good. I'll be around about the same time. All right, sounds good, my man. See you then. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, bye-bye. Perfect. I get the weekend to stress about it. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah. God, it's been a good. Why are they so Three. close? There's, what? What is happening? Are there emails? I have. Have you gotten an email? No. I was just. It can't be meteors, can it? No, like I mean, they, they send you an email. Oh my gosh. Is it nap time? Oh gosh. Meteors are cringe. They are absolutely, I remember, I remember doing a Dota run one time and we had some people in the, in the back just keeping us company. When I tell you everything <laughs> went stark white, like it has been doing a couple of times now. And I didn't know what was going on because I'd never experienced that before. And, you know, I thought it was wrong with me. And then next thing you know, it hit and I went flying out of the truck and I ended up across the street into another, in the of another house on the opposite block from where we were. And the was driving he ended up in the opposite direction, same thing, and the people were behind us. And it was just like, I didn't know what happened. And then so later on, we realized it was a meteor that actually hit the truck or hit really, really close to the truck. It seems like they've stopped now, though. But Maybe. Anybody who's still metal detects, they've probably already found the landing site. Oh, goodness. I'm actually feeling a little bit tired. So what are you guys up to? Uh, Well, I just got an email from the mayor. Mm -hmm. So I now have work to do. Must be nice. I wish I had work to do. You don't have work to do. 
No. That's actually a really good uh, I, or thought process. I desperately need work. Oh, aren't you a lawyer? Yeah, but even people I consider friends won't hire me. Bruh. Oh my god. What? What? Did I'm something leaving. happen? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he I gotta. I actually gotta do some stuff. We were supposed to have a, a wedding uh, for Mickey today. What's going on, Kelsters? Vlog the Kelman. Kelarino. What's up, man? Uh, hey, have you heard from Mickey today? Nah, man, I All heard right. shit. All right, I just talked to him. Um, he is not flying in today, so God damn it! Yes, yeah, so the wedding is gonna have to hold off till next week. No wedding, um, cool. No wedding. Cool. What's he doing, huh? Uh, what, what's he? What's he so busy with, huh? I think I think yesterday's festivities kind of just were a lot, mm -hmm. uh, which I understand. Yesterday was a was a busy day. Um, yeah, Mickey not abide, abide, abiding by his schedule. Yeah, big, uh, big surprise, <laughs> surprise there. Surprise, yeah, big surprise. surprise. Yeah, uh, I'm not surprised by that at all. Uh, I know he's just got a lot uh, kind of happening sure. um, out, outside the city. Um, do you happen to have Carmela's number? By chance? Uh, yeah, Carmela. Yes, sir. Carmella. I have her Can you send that to me? Um, yes, and sir. then do you know who else was involved? Obviously, Peach. I need to see if I can get in touch with her. Um, Peach or Brian Knight? Yeah, I need to. I just basically need to call around. I do have Brian. What the hell is going on with these meteors? This is. Oh my god, Yo. this is like right in front of me. Yeah, there's a couple meteors. What is. You really want to walk towards that? Yeah, I kind of. I kind of am interested, Bill. Get in. Okay. Well, I asked you to come out his number. Awesome, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call around and kind of do the assistance duties, uh, make sure everything's safe. Is the state paying for it? Uh, I don't know that the state can pay for it unless it's a, like a state-sponsored event. It would Maybe be more of should... Mickey's event. Maybe we should hold the, the wedding during a sponsored event. Or at the courthouse, for instance. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm just trying to be logic driven. Hey, Danny, you better keep driving, bro. You better go in like real fast, dog. Never mind. The cop pulled over. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Now we good. We good. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna call around and make sure all this stuff is is handled uh, and figure out the the next time frame. Yeah. Um, Sounds good. But cool. If you need anything from me, I'm I'm on Mickey uh, rapid response duty today. Okay. Sounds good. Sweet man. Appreciate you. Right, no problem. Peace. Goodbye. Hey, you guys Get see some weird shit around here? Get out of here, bro. All right. Just gonna sit quietly and not do anything. My dog is mad. I think it's about to storm here. Right. He's freaking out. I think it was like right to hit, wasn't it? Was it? I, I I mean I couldn't tell how close it was. Looked really fucking close. It did, but it looked smaller than the, the average one. Uh I gotta make another phone call. Bear with me. Oh. Huh. Hello? Hi, Carmela. My name is Sloan Kelly. I'm the assistant to Mayor Mickey. How are you? Hi, how's it going? Well, I, I needed to inform you that the mayor is not going to make it into town today, unfortunately. Uh, oh, and no wedding? No wedding. Uh, we're going to have to okay. delay it until next week. Um, Wait, what the fuck? I put so much I work know. and effort into this. I know you I'm going to have to call off the parade and the marching band. 
Yeah, you, you'll be compensated accordingly. Just make sure you keep oh my, uh, okay. a line item budget request for everything. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Okay, I'm going to have to make yeah. a lot of phone calls, but I'll mm -hmm. make it happen. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. I'm doing the same thing. This is a damage yeah. control kind of day. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you for letting me know. Absolutely. I guess my afternoon is cleared now. It is, so, as is mine. I uh, literally was in the city for this event. <laughs> oh, well... Thanks for telling me. Of course. Yeah. If, right. if you need anything else from uh, him or this office, just let me know. I'm here to be a servant. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You got any idea where all these fucking ears are hitting? Are you talking to me? Or are you on the phone? Little soul? My office? Hey, for real? Oh, where? I don't either. Where do you think it hit? Kind of hope so. Well, you know what? When even your friends don't hire you, you know you got issues. Bruh. Well, that's why you should just tell Mickey he needs, uh, uh, oh, there's dead people outside Maldini's, dude. You should probably get here. Who yeah, are you sure. on the phone with? 911. Okay, what's the deal? What's happening? Huh? Um. Damien, what's the deal, man? What's happening? We we got we got dead people in the street. What's what's going on? It's little soul. Yeah, but is it is it related to these meteors coming down? Dude, the meteors! I'm telling you, Zeus is trying to get me. I have landed hey, within 20, 30 feet of me four times in a row in the past twenty minutes. Oh, so you think uh, it's directly related to you? you? I I think Zeus is trying to smite me. Uh, then yeah. don't mind me. I'm gonna step just over here a little bit. Hey, slow. What up, man? Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh, just, you know, keeping distance. Uh, Bill was trying to find the source of the meteors. Zeus, if you're out there, I dare you to do it again. Oh, I gotta if go. you ever want a song commission, slow, let me know. You got it, man. We we still need to do something together because I've been wanting to lay down a piano track. Yes, I need job. that shit. All right. I need it. Need it. Hey, are you gonna or uh, Damien, you gonna work for me? No. Bill's pissed at me because I didn't hire him. Why why don't you want to hire Bill? He's a Bond villain. Look at him. <laughs> Doctor No. I figured a friend would hire me, someone who I let use my office, and, and was compensated and handsomely for it, and that I show around and things to. But I guess that doesn't matter to you. Is it is it just the work you want to do, or is it the what? money, Bill? The work. I need something to do. I have nothing. But I didn't. Advertising you the don't food, want to be bored. I said, I'm just here. I would do it for ten thousand dollars. That's how bored I am. Okay, then you can do it, Bill. I'll retract my offer. Alright, nine thousand. I'll pay you a reasonable sum. Oh no, I don't care about that. Hey CJ, what you doing? Alright, keep walking. See the problem with new new junior attorney, we got fucking attitude. Just bad attitude. They're supposed to be they're supposed to be out with me training. And they have their own little fucking clicks going on and mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Me either. I still haven't seen the the CNT report. Is that is it just gonna go up on Twitter, I guess? I don't know. 
Did you uh, take a screenshot of your phone with the twats you put out? And what was his name? Tom Tucker. Yeah. What? Oh, Damien, I need to talk to you. I gotta talk to him. Fuck. Stuck not being able to go back further. I think I'm gonna publish another books book. I just don't know what the topic will be. Maybe I'll do like civil cases for morons. Yeah, come with me. Sorry, what? You want to come for a red? Yeah. I don't know what happened. I mean, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> I told you you need the scuff band-aid. Yep. There we go. Hey, see you that up in the uh, yellow pages you're buying about. All right. Where are you, and when are you available? Okay, where? Yes, I do. I love that place. All right, perfect. I'll be there momentarily. Bye. Have you been to the guild hall? Yeah, I was there this morning, actually. Oh. 
Oh, watch out for the bike. Yeah, I get my book printing done at the guild hall. Who do you uh, go through for that? Uh, mostly Eve Summers, um, but yeah, sometimes that's... pastels. What's uh, what's pastels charge? Um, I think it's basically the same, like two fifty per, or no, five hundred per, unless you do a bigger order and then it can drop down. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's roughly the same. Yeah, Eve's such a lovely person. I love her. She's the best. Oh, Stag. Yeah. Do you know this person? Hi, Stag. I've been meaning to talk to you. What up? Uh, remember me, Sloan Kelly? We met a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, Mickey you told me... Uh, well, yeah, I did. Mickey told me that you had questions about our artist program. That's actually something that I'm um, independently doing from the mayor's office. Um, would oh, love yeah, to talk yeah. to you about it. Yeah. I, I was told it was going to be some kind of like event type deal or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, if it is, uh, if the Writers Guild is very interested and involved because we are always looking for artists. Heck yeah. If, if you guys do artists, can I make one request? Sure. Please. I go through the fucking gallery all the time, and I see art I would love to buy and put in my office, mm -hmm. but I can't. Yep. That needs uh, to be a thing. That does it, need to be a thing. We were actually supposed to be able to sell posters out of here a long time ago, but God knows what happened to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, the response from Dice God was, that's too hard to do. Bill. Pretty much. Yes. God damn it. Yep. Um, anyway, so Stag, the, the idea, I'll kind of fill you in. Um, the first round of this is going to be a gala event that we're going to run in tandem with the parks and rec department i'm going to run inside i gotta find the guy i'm selling to yep sounds good oh, that's me oh, oh. cool <laughs> okay y'all hey, do your deal and then we can keep talking no no i don't want to interrupt if this is important and, i mean if y'all are doing a deal then All right, uh, sell your mats <laughs> what do you think and you want to sell all of them yeah. Do you buy the gold dust or no? Uh, for that, you sell that stuff to the gold rush people. Yeah, they're not buying yet. Personally, right. I'd say sit on it for a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Wait until the rush is over and it becomes more valuable. Or less. Yeah, give me some food, Harry. <laughs> Lang. All right. Let me put this out on my table for work. How long do you have a store up here for? Uh, it's been about, well, we officially opened, I think, about a day or two ago. Mm-hmm. We've already cleared about a mill. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. I need to get in the math buying business, yeah, I think. That is the right business, my dude. Yeah, it, the whole thing is uh, I operate purely off of uh, sheer, like, quantity over you know price so I, I price it that expensive for people who need it it's all about you know trying to clear as much stock as possible so people can get the yeah. shit they need i love it Sorry. heavy transaction idea? uh 2906 Chad, how cool would it be if you could um, heal click in this game? Like, I feel like that's something that Sloan would do. Like, jump off something and, like, click his heels. Yep. Yep, not that.
What's the wink? Give me the unlock. Actually gotten that much from maps before, so. <laughs> Why is Lang just doing laps? Mm. Yep. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I feel like that's still too low for what's essentially just a rush. So. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm going to check my trunk, see if I got anything else. Oh, yeah. Playing talk and drive is the slow and talk and walk. Or talk and jog. Nice. Stag, what's the deal with the roosters and why every time I go in there, can I not see anybody? Uh, well, that's because it gets no customers. So just nobody's working? Or is it yep. like I have a bunch of scuff? Jesus fucking it, It's great. just people not working. Oh, okay. It, that's good to know. It's hard fuck? for them to work. Okay. Some yeah, people will sit there for truck, a bit, man. but you know, it, it, it gets no. tiring sitting there and not having yeah, any doing nothing. Yeah, people just, come in. Just yeah. be yeah. careful, please. Thank you for actually stopping and being decent. Yeah. It's sad. It sucks, but I mean, it happens. Yeah. I get it. Maybe it'll change. Something Mickey and I are kind of working on. Well, mostly Mickey's working on. I'm just supporting. Uh, is the possible removal of the rings that make you not hungry and thirsty. Oh yeah, I think those were a fucking massive factor. To be honest. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh huh. So if we can. I mean, yeah, they're one time use, but well, you know, per tsunami or however long they last, but still, man, I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I mean, if it's 1200 bucks for the day, though. Yeah, 200 bucks is. Just go fuck yourself, restaurants. That's pretty right. much what that is. If, you, if you're getting on at tsunami and you plan to be around all day, then, like, that seems like the move. Like, grindery. I'm not here for it. So yeah, we've we've been petitioning to try and have them removed. We'll see how how well it goes, but yeah, we'll see about that one. I think you'll have some feet in the opposition. I'm sure we will. Um, I think the large case supports removing them. Uh, it'll be more like what can we do to support other things they want to do. Truth. So we'll, we'll see. I want to, I want to like offer a little give and take, right? It's like, yeah, we're going to take, but also like, don't feel like this is the end. Let's get creative. Uh, anyway, uh, I see you on this painting up here. Let's talk art. Yes. Yes. So, um, I'm working on trying to put a program together and you you may have heard, obviously the, the first thing we're trying to do for artists or have done for the artist is the musical artist in the city, which has been our royalties. Um, fun. Yeah, yeah. And that's been great. That's a first run. Um, I've actually been working pretty closely with um, Richie from LSBN to get them some support for the visual arts. Like, we'll, we'll just call it visual arts. Motion picture arts. Uh, and I think Mickey has a really good relationship with Marlo, and I understand they're, they're doing the same thing on Marlo's front to, to support the creation of new visual media in that form. Oh, hi, Eve. Yo. Yo. You can hey, man. Join the convo if you want to. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, bye. Um, and so that that has been. Uh, oh my God. We are safe. That guy does not look to be as good though. Wicked. Are you guys okay? Yeah. What? Uh -huh. What the fuck? What, what do you mean? What the fuck? Why'd you hit my truck? I don't know. I don't like it that much. Maybe. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't insult your car. So you think that I did that deliberately? 
No, I didn't say that. I was just you, curious. You did, you did ask why did you hit my car, which means that yeah. you were imposing that I hit it by purpose. No, I was asking for a reasoning behind it. If you're saying you didn't do it on purpose, that's reasoning. No, I didn't. Therefore, the question is answered. Didn't. Hence, I came back to check if you are okay. Yeah, and you're decent for that because 99% of people won't fucking do that shit. Nah, they won't, and it's annoying. I'm surprised spot. you're fucking okay, man. I know, okay, you so went thank flying. you. Yeah, I know, I was. Thank you, know. buddy. I don't even know what I hit, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, it looks uh, like you geez. just kind of launched, man. Must be one of those new invisible ramps. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Well, yeah, that's why we usually park on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, understandably so. This is a dangerous place, it seems. Um, anyway, so we're kind of like that that has left this third element third arm of the still images uh and like painters and digital art uh in in that kind of realm relatively uncovered um and so we have tried to figure out what we can do just to kind of keep the arts alive and so i've been working with um ruby miles who heads up artist studio um to figure out what kind of program we may be able to come up with um, and the first thought we had was, well, let's, let's even before a program gets created, let's just do another big celebratory event. I think we saw from the pride event that, that went on, this was before I moved to the city, but everything I hear from everybody is how awesome the art was during that, that month. Um, and then how all of a sudden there was no, there was like nothing going on. So it just kind of like stopped. And so, um, We've been kind of brainstorming different ideas for what we could do for artists to be inspired by something. And the way that I have kind of brainstormed this first round of ideas is, well, let's either celebrate things in the city or we can choose like some topical thing to celebrate. Like um, Babas is actually the one who got me connected with, with Ruby. And, you know, he's a big proponent of Greek culture and architecture and, um, and archaeology, um, not architecture, archaeology. And um, so we were thinking maybe we could do like a celebration of some combination of like Greek stuff and, and maybe that would be the theme. But honestly, uh, the way this gold stuff has taken off, um, that has kind of become the theme for what we want to do. So September 30th is kind of the, the day we're shooting for. And um, what we want to try and do is partner with the VLC as a location so we can actually put the paintings on display and choose, I think they have either 12 or 13 spots, um, choose 12 or 13 artists to basically commission that number of pieces uh, that the state will commission, and then we'll pay them um, once a commissioning fee, and then two, the actual like day of a display fee um, that comes through Parks and Rec. And then um, that'll be kind of like what sets us down on this path of trying to have relatively regular events where we can support artists. Um, a lot of the artists in the city don't really talk about all the stuff they're doing. Um, and maybe it's just because they're not really known. Um, so Ruby has created her own separate business with this artist studio where she basically is kind of becoming like the record label of sorts for artists where she's kind of managing the talent. She has a whole Discordia with a ton of artists where they can, and this may be where you might be able to partner with her. They kind of just feed ideas and then see who picks it up. So Eve was mentioning to me this morning, like some of the things that you guys might want to do is get more, um, like from the books, um, that you have in there, like get more story behind it and tell like, see who's telling the story or, Get more illustration so like you know coming up with one of those ideas and then like sending it to their discordia to see who picks up you know the idea um but anyway the that's i'm derailing a little bit the event itself is going to be a big catered event where we have you know, probably some musicians i think we were planning on getting like a bunch of wine and food and and it'll be a black tie kind of thing and um it will truly be a celebration of the arts that we plan to probably do like once a quarter. Uh, and then the actual artist will have each one of their pieces there. Um, so this theme being the golden gala, and then we'll pick the theme and start working on the, the next round of stuff. Um, you know, after this first one kicks off, but 
the idea is just a regular infusion of arts and then also kind of points at which we can have meetings and, and regular um, regular events in the city. But does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said he, he messaged me, though, and said he wasn't going to be in the city. Yeah, yeah I think it's awesome. We've been trying real hard to kind of, you know, it's, it's hard to get people actually to specifically target artists for a lot of stuff we want to do mm -hmm. like uh, we really want to get some comic artists and uh, we want to focus in city first before having to go out of city and you know sure. spend out of city but uh, uh we really want to get some artists and get them their opportunity to you know make some mix by selling these comic books because uh, our yeah. whole plan is uh, they basically get like 90 percent, and we just cover uh, labor cost for paper and printing which is minimal. I love it, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I love fucking art. I love all kinds of art. Spe specifically, you know, graphic art. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll tell you, at the very least, um, what I can do is get you in touch with Ruby. Um, she's she's going to be a huge asset because she does have all of the... Oh, my God. I think you're... Angling myself behind yep. a tree. Uh -huh. I'm going to do the same thing. There's a lot happening here. Um, anyway, she does have all of the relationships with all of the artists, right? She She's very well established kind of as like the person heading it up. She also heads up the pit, um, the tattoo parlor. Um, and so she's, she's very much got that kind of like influence with all the other artists in the city and, and knows most of them well. She does work at the VLC, um, though I don't know that she's the one who actually like does the higher tier stuff, um, which is fine. Uh, I don't know that it matters as far as like the scope of what she's trying to do. And she's trying to actually build up a storefront herself for her company as a place that they could possibly d display stuff. And honestly, what it might sound like is like partnering with you guys, especially for like the commissioned arts here could be a great way to at least get something going before she establishes whatever she wants to do on her side. Cause I don't know that she knows really fully what she wants to do. Um, I was just kind of helping her brainstorm ideas about like possibly doing like featured artist books or something like that. Um, but like, you know, if you have, you know, these comic books as, as kind of like a first run while she's trying to figure out the rest of how to establish her business and storefront, then at least this gets work going for some of the people who might be interested. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been wanting to generate, you know, like a extra income resource for, you know, artists in the city for a while and trying to get these comic books off. We've had uh, maybe like one, yeah, only one comic book to ever be created. And that was like a super limited run we did. And we had people mm -hmm. who were like, you know, they're dropping like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to get these because they're limited edition, wow. like zero. We only made, I think, like 15 total. Uh, five of the uh, misprints. Dang. Okay. So people went crazy. Over yeah. Them. Especially now, since books don't just you know deteriorate. Right. I think it'd be really great to you know get comics out there, get these artists to make some extra money. Mm-hmm. Especially. Can Can I hire an artist to illustrate a book? Like, do you guys do that? Yeah, I, that's actually one thing. So we do a lot of printing. I don't know if I've been to the. Shit. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. He's excited. I, yeah. I don't know. If he's been, been beating a lot of people recently, haven't you, Bill? <laughs> Might be time yeah. to go see a therapist. Well, I got uh, hit his truck, man. It's understandable. Uh, he beat he a woman in a wheelchair the... yesterday, Stag. He doesn't get any passes for me. Oh, is it the uh... lady at the town? Yeah, he beat Cass. Oh, she said she was telling me the other day she got her fucking spine surgery done. I was like, oh my god. And then I heard you know how many she was back in the I, OR yesterday as a result you know of him and Croc people, beating her. I, you know how many people I have ocean dumped for her and she's going to get for one little thing. Yeah, you beat her and she had to go back uh, into surgery. I'm not giving you a pass on this, Bill. Not yet. She was too me that, the, for. She told me the doctor just gave her uh, the go ahead to start practicing driving and walking again. <laughs> Which they revoked yeah. after one day, by the way. <laughs> Here. Look at that. My illustrations suck. Any illustration is good. Ooh, I like the layout of this book. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he got to the last page. Yes. <laughs> what the hell is this? Surprise me. Did you forget to get dressed today or what happened? Hey guys, no, how's it going? The Zuckerberg. Good to see oh. you. Hi guys. I'm going inside. I'm going to do some booklets for the factory, all right? All right. Mm -hmm. Just letting you know. Now. Just oh. cut your fingers. I, yeah, I am. You want to see? And don't print any serial killer books, weird app. No serial killer sure. books. Or else we, master. we ban you. I'm pretty sure that's Nick. Right. But yeah, we uh Nicholas uh over at the Liquid Library. Mhm. Mm when we brought this up to him, he said he was he's been extremely interested in getting people to you know, kind of turn his books into graphic novels, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is like another great collab thing I would love to see. Because, you know, the, the story's already there. Now they just have to draw to it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I've tried contacting people and they're like, oh, yeah, we'll do it. And then I never fucking hear from them. It, yeah, it's the classic. We'll do it. Yeah. But the only person to actually ever fully produce our comic book, which is the one I mentioned earlier, was fucking Turbo. And that's it. Everyone else we've contacted is like, oh, yeah, I do this, this, and that. And then you try and get in touch with them, you just get ghosted. Yeah. This is like, you know, a full 12 page, however fucking long. I don't know how long comic books are. It, it could be like a little five page short story. And people love it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I really fucked up my first edition of my book, but it still sold out. And then I did it this way. And, but it, it, Leads more pizzazz, you know? Yeah. So, my next book is going to be bent, uh, Civil Suits for Morons. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have a book so people can. Damn. Well. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice. He went quiet. Did his head pop? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that'll happen. Uh, I apologize. I'm uh, writing an email. I gotta respond. No worries, no worries. Uh, talking to... Actually, it's funny. We're, we're talking about art, and I just got an email from um, Ruby. <laughs> the timing of this. The stars are aligning. I don't know if she's in the city today. Let me call her real quick. But yeah, it's a just getting this artist event together, and if we could possibly be there and you know talk to artists and show them we have interest in getting people to produce, yeah, or you know draw four of these books, absolutely we'll produce for them. Yeah, I mean at the at the very least at that event, um, at the very most, I mean like I said, the kind of partnership with Artist Studio would be fantastic, right? Um, she like like I said, she she mentioned to me that they have a, a whole channel dedicated to like commissioning um, where people are basically just making requests. I just don't know that people know about it. So like part of this is just kind of getting the word out for for her. Um, and and more just in the city city in general um because there is so much that people can do um they just don't know that they they can do it i guess they don't know it yeah <laughs> yeah anything to make it easier for these people to realize you know there's resources out here for them and people who want to encourage it Why is that helicopter landing like right there? Might be Mickey. Uh, he's not in the city today. He was oh, supposed I to having a wedding today. Did you guys know that? He was marrying Peach, right? Yeah, uh, but he's not going to make it in. He's uh, stuck out of the city, unfortunately.
Uh, yeah, sure. Logs. What's up, sir? What's up, Evo dude? Uh oh, I'm at the guild hall. See how that works. Good God. It's a lot that happens up here, huh? Yeah, today is especially busy. I'm real used to, you know, uh, shift three, shift one. That's what I've been oh, gotcha. chilling on for the past uh, month or two. So coming back to now, I forgot it's. Uh, it's Something a lot special. happening constantly. Yeah. yeah. Someone about to blow up there. More than likely. I just keep my distance right here. Oh, that cop almost hit it. So close. <laughs> I watched it. That guy's name is Barry, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a menace. <laughs> yeah, first time I met him was at the reef, uh, maybe a week or so ago, and uh, I'm pretty sure he beat him pretty senselessly. Uh, you have to on occasion. He's wearing the same outfit. Does he only have the one? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I was also told that that is uh, not an actual suit, it's just pajamas. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a. <laughs> He just wears pajamas that look like a suit. All right. That's yeah. All you really want to know is if you ever ask uh, if he can try out your car, don't let him because he'll he's a very reckless driver. Yeah, I have come to the conclusion not to let anybody borrow my car uh, for that very reason. Most people oh, I don't yeah. I don't trust anybody in this city to drive. Honestly, I've, I've even seen locals just acting recklessly. Yeah, it, sometimes, you know, I'm just driving down the road and then a local will swerve across three rooms on the opposite side just to, like, T-bone me. <laughs> and then yeah. they start screaming at me. Like, yeah, like it was your fault. bash their head against the steering wheel and pass out. Well, I wonder if Bill's coming back. I don't know. Interesting. Goblins, my God. Goblins. But I need I need him to come back because he's got Toretti's number. Oh, I got Mr. Toretti's number. Oh, do you? Do you have Peach's number by chance? God no. <laughs> Why God no? Peach is a very unique individual. Oh, well. 
I I need to call her because her soon to be spouse is not coming, and I imagine Teredi has her number. Oh yeah, he probably does. Uh, you want me to read it out for you? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. All right. It is four five five nine four seven six seven zero. A, Mr. Tredi, Big T, etc., etc. Stag, who, who the hell is this fedora wearing fuck in the back of the thing? It's Turbo, jackass. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He likes to cosplay. That was aggressive he, was for a guy who wears pajamas. Yeah, I told him about your pajamas. It's, it's not a pajama. That's what ever. That's what Eve was telling me is that you, these are just pajamas and it's not a real suit. It's just comf. Oh, what the hell? That. Oh, so cool. that's cool. Oh, it's the dice god. Is that right? Is that a uh, Nick Simone? Uh, so. probably because KJ is next to it. That car gets some fucking height. Oh, it also says dice gone on his license plate. <laughs> Shit, sure does. <laughs> ah! Ah! He's back with two guns. Ah! 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 Welcome back. Ah! Oh, yeah, you do have two guns. Ah! Okay. Bill, do you have Peach's okay. number? Yes. Can you send that to me? What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. You're going to get Barry's pajamas wet. Not again. Yo. I'm sorry. It's a very nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Is that what we've been seeing this whole time? God damn. Are you like, whole... like summoning? That's not oh, this the... Are you talking about this the, the dice god? Yeah, dice god. What's up? Yo. How you doing, man? Anyone want to throw some dice? I'm, I'm good. Come on, come on, come on, pussies. 5k, bro. let's go. You're broke? You were broke? No, I'm not. Alright. All right, I'm okay, not gonna let's gamble. Go. I'm banned. I'm banned as well. I'm not allowed to go back. Yeah, we had to ban uh, Barry from gambling. No it, it's the, the same piano. thing. No, 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 no. Skip out there. It's bad from the casino? It's literally bad. It's literally got. Come on. Come on, pussy. How much? 25k, let's go. Fuck that. Come on, Barry. Money. Stag, you're literally a millionaire. Go. Come on, Stag. Come on. Money's already reinvested into my business. What right. the fuck is this charity case of a fucking establishment? We're looking for millionaires, you know, to roll oh some dice with dice bag. Yeah, well, maybe if somebody... you guys hit up the fucking arcade more. Oh, I know someone. I, I know someone. Okay, let's go. Hold on a sec. Arcade? Yeah, we always do the arcade. It's been a little bit slow down there, though. Yeah, we, a little bit. Maybe maybe soon. I have expected you know, my phone to ring. Everybody's out in the rivers, you know, getting some sun nowadays. Yeah, or yeah, putting their I... pan in shit water. Yo. I heard about that. It's nasty. Seems like they put their pens everywhere, you know, they can find some gold. Damn it, I forgot it's past his bedtime. Alright, never scoopers. mind. Fucking Kyle Pred's always good I to guess gamble. You gotta do something for your money. Uh, isn't he eight million dollars in actually. debt? Yeah, he just yeah. takes it out of the uh budget though. Interesting. Yeah, he'll just gamble that money. That seems unethical. That seems illegal. That part. Yeah. Yeah, but who's going to do anything to him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Am I right? Kyle Fred? I mean. Yeah. I'm not fucking with him. For the right prize. 
Dude gets fired, all he has to do is sit there and go, hey, I'm a judge now, I won the election. And he becomes a judge. Oh, God. I mean, I mean. Oh, it's untouchable. The sitting judge. I don't know. I think there's uh, quite a few people who are untouchable. I wouldn't say so. For example, your uh, your brother. He's mortal. I beat him up a couple of times. Yeah, but he does a pretty good job of hiding. And that, well, that by if you know where to look, it's not hard. Yeah. I'm not saying I know, of course. No, no, why would you? Would you well, that? Aiding, and I don't do that because I'm Nick, not a terrorist symbol. Yeah, that no, I don't know. I support his cause anyways. So rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Careful saying that out loud. I got shot in the head by a senator. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. You're right. Fuck you, going there. They they took my fire election away from me i won fair and square for fucking judge what the hell yeah yep all because what? of fabricated oh, fucking bar complaints are you seeing this twitter war it's just oh who's it this time is it <sighs> gg and gsf oh my god oh i keep seeing this future guy bring up this guy is MP5. Uh. Well, you know. <sighs> Does anyone know where Nancy is? She throws dice. She ain't a pussy uh, oh, like She was guys. actually just right down the street. You missed her by about 30 seconds. Fuck. I was looking at with the camera. Shit. I can call her. Yeah, call her and ask her if she wants to go to throw some dice with Dice God. I'm sure she'll gamba. Do you think Toretti gamble? I don't think Toretti, Toretti has money. Hi, Miss Nancy. Oh, yeah. You want to gamble with the dice god? He's challenging you. He said no balls, you poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, he told me how easy it was, you know, to get the money from her. Oh, you're at the storefront still? Okay. All right, I'll send him over. Bye bye. I don't know. I think he just didn't want to call you. I don't have her number. She said, are you scared? Oh, you don't have, have her number. number? He doesn't have your number, actually. Everything Nancy's saying sounds like Nancy. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. All right. I'll tell him to go over there. Bye -bye. I got someone. Let's She's down the street up. at the CI storefront where that uh, Rolls Royce just pulled in. It's uh, oh, CI. Okay. Uh, First Industries, it's where they mm. sell their ramps and uh, hey, buddy, there's this guy here who says you're a fucking pussy and won't roll dice with him. <laughs> yeah, he's in front of uh, the guild hall. Says you're chicken shit. Hurry up. Bye. Damn. Abe's coming to roll with you. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. The deputy mayor. Oh, Wait, what was the name? Ayub. Ayub. EMS guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many oh. deputy mayors are there? Two. Oh my god. Did Soon to be six. <laughs> Come to. Holy shit. Just oh, where'd the motorcycle go? Wait, where did. What the fuck? I was hoping someone huh. would blow up. Oh, sorry. No. It kept I'm revving. Not. It made me annoyed. Yeah. Ram, 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 we need ram. an actual landmine. It'll send me Peach's number. Why? I need to call off the wedding. I don't just call, give out random people's numbers without their permission. What wedding? You getting married? Mickey was supposed to marry Peach today. Huh? Yeah, I have the same reaction. <laughs> I'll call her. 
Thank you. Did you lose a bet or? Nah, it, it's political. Oh. What? What? What's the benefit politically? Uh, further seeding his power with the police force because she's the beloved something or other. I don't know. I stopped paying attention when he was you saying it. Obviously, don't know Peach. She ain't beloved in the. PD. No one likes Peach. God damn. I don't know. I'd like I you said, know, I tell him listening. to go marry like Jenny Hall or someone like that. That'll I get do hard. like Jenny. Yeah. You can marry nice. Jenny Hall and then sell her fucking house. Or Olivia uh, Copper. She's married no, to Dean, Copper dude. Won't. Okay, there's no laws against marrying multiple people. Really? Mm -hmm. Copper doesn't like weak men. Is Mickey he's weak? Pretty, that's fair. Yeah, he is. Why do you he think is. you fucking you're here for? Why, why do you think I got hired and came yeah. to the city? Yeah, okay. He's very moldable and soft. So is this, uh, whoever you said coming? Yeah, he said oh, he's on his way. Yeah. Okay. I want to see this now. I want to see some news. All right, Peach, wedding is off. Have a great day, son. She didn't pick oh, oh, it's not off. It's just delayed. See, this well, you is... said it was off. No, I didn't. I said I needed to talk to her. This is why I don't let you make decisions, Bill. Oh, here he is. He even gave lights and siren. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, apparently I was called a pussy. Yeah, I called yeah. you a pussy. What's up? Hi, why am I pussy? Yeah, you are. What I... Oh my god! Ah! 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 What the fuck was that? Wow. That is so sick. That was. Yeah, gonna... was way louder up close. You gotta yeah. roll with them, man. You wanna throw some dice? Uh, uh, sure. 25k. Oh, wait, to get that? What? No, you rolled <laughs> No, to roll for 25k. Uh, oh, wait, what, what am I rolling for? Money. 25k. It's gambling, dude. Uh -huh. You're oh. gambling. You know what? Fuck it, yeah, well, why not? Alright, do you know how to death roll? Okay, I guess not. So, dice card starts, boys. We, I start rolling a thousand. Whatever I land on is whatever you roll up to. Do you understand? So, if I roll a thousand and it becomes five hundred out of a thousand, you then roll up to five hundred. Yeah. And whoever gets one loses. Okay. So you roll down all the way, and then you know if you roll a one, you lose. Doesn't mm -hmm. this have like a statistical probability that the roll. person who goes first? Yeah, fuck it, wins? send it. Let's go. What? 25k and also you gotta get down like this uh-huh this is the street street rule son all right street rules. let the addiction begin just remember he has access Come to on. the city budget Ooh, mm -hmm. okay not what i wanted oh, to right now but okay all right and then i go oh Ooh. Okay. Watch this. 25. Oh! One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go. Watch this. 69. Boom. Oh! oh close. 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 close, close, close. You want to move around a little bit so you don't, like, uh, get up. Yeah. 63. God damn. Come on. Come They're on. taking it slow, though. <clears throat> Okay. Ooh. Up 16, 10, 7. Who needs to do work and I can do this? <laughs> Fuck him. Don't worry. Roll in. Ooh. Ho ho! Oh. What are you doing, Barry? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Flip enough, Tori. Barry just Fuck you, Barry. Poker. Fuck you. Oh man, that would have been funny. Yeah. We should get the whole poker shit going again. Yeah, so, well, this is the poker room. What are these Sal Salim always hits me up, but he never, you know, got something going. Okay, or... okay. All right, you're dead. Am I? Ooh. Am I? Oh! oh. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Am I? All right, Come all on right. It. I see how it is. I see how it is. 
Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. 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 Shit. Who's the god now? Oh fuck, I gotta go sign in. I'll be right back. You win some, you lose some. It's like, we, we need a trident like that. Oh, oh, what? Just to it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> to go death. It is very cold. Uh, how much do you think that? How, how do you even get one? At least $30. That's a do lot. You know the pressing oh. thing? I probably just made like two days pay in like three minutes. How are you gonna have a trident and drive a Fortnite car though? You know what's more depressing? It's a pit mobile. Uh, Statistically, you had more chance it's of losing. Literally the Fortnite car. And I still won. And you still won. Hey. Brag about it. You should say I defeated the dice god. You you you, you should ask dice god about that. That's me of what? I'm wondering how you can be so cool and how like such a cool trident and drive around in a Fortnite car. At $30. least thirty dollars. Oh. Oh. I'm wet. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, who, who said that? Did you talk oh, shit about God, my Sorry, so sorry. Loud. Was that you? Was. Huh? Wasn't me. Did you talk it's shit? It's always Barry. That's why he wears pajamas. Alright, here's your cash. <laughs> but will he go Hell again? Yeah. Dice God always pays. I, I mean, I wish I could play, but I am working at the moment. Well, I mean, if you ever want to go for 50k, just give me a call, man. No worries, I got you. Or if you want to lose, 50K. I'm a billionaire. That's a with a B. That's impressive. Nice ring. That's it. Alright, let's go uh, crush. Uh, what's her name? Nancy again? Nancy. Yo, baby. Yeah, down the road. Right. Right. Yeah. Out. Roll Take care. Good yeah, meeting man. you. You should get a fucking. You should have like a death roll turn. You know what I mean? Ice cream. It's got the money wheels and everything. Damn. I don't know if I'm impressed or I don't know what feelings I have at the moment. Just don't talk shit about his car. Yeah. He will kill Just you. Be impressed. That guy's got a menu. I ain't. <laughs> How does one become a guild hang around? No such thing. We can't just like hang around down here. Oh, I mean, if you want to, yeah, anyone around. can fucking chill down here. <laughs> that's that's roughly what I mean. Uh, yeah, I, 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 like, I, I, I thought you were talking some, about a fucking, fucking motor club. No, no, I mean shit. like, yeah. at, like, how, how do I get to be cool and hang apart in this gang? Because you guys are awesome. Not gang, but like, gang. you know, crew <laughs> slash just chilling with y'all. We just stand out here and don't really do anything whatsoever. You know what? When Mickey's not around, I, I feel like I can do the same thing. That's what we do every day. And then someone's like, guys, we should do something. And then uh, what it usually ends up in is everyone will get up in the Rolls Royce over there and then go to Mirror Park and harass the clones. The clones? Yeah, the HOA. They're clones? Yes, they're all clones. Except Miss Andy. Oh, okay. And then Turbo's the kill master. Uh, and Sizz is, uh, 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 John Doe. I thought Max was the kill master. Oh, man. Yeah, he's kill the kill master. master. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Tori here can probably in induct you into the yo cult as well. Yeah. Yo cult on top. I don't know if Lando's around. Yeah. I don't oh, think so. Hey, you're still on the phone. Hmm. He, yo -cult. he may be very soon. Okay, bye. Probably. Probably. I think he's excited about World of Warcraft. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't actually do anything. I mean, better it's than what some other people do. It's like hang around here or hang around the courthouse. Oh, 
my groceries are being delivered to the rooster's rest. I'll be right back. Nice. Hey, bye. Yeah, welcome to being a lawyer. This is literally all I get to do. It seems like this is what you do as a politician, too. Wait, we're politicians. Well, I'm I'm a politician. He is. Can we be one? Sure. Around. What do you yeah. want to do? Pretty much nothing. Neat. You're doing it. Yeah. Good work, Barry. Thank you. Ha, it feels good. I want to be deputy mayor. That's what I want to do. I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> I was about to say. Everyone who says that usually ends up regretting saying Vicky. that. Especially for Vicky. God, I no. don't like the, <laughs> like the way Mila felt before she left. I warned them. I warned every single one of them. Mickey is not going to do anything. You're going to do everything. You're like, no, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Then come back for a second turn. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why when he offered me the deputy position, I said, I'm good. I'll stay private. <laughs> How do I get these pajamas? God. Go to a clothing store? Yeah, you just buy them. Pretty cheap, actually. Like 80 Look bucks? Up, Barry. Eh, probably. It's like, you know, made from someone's grandma's curtains. Oh, someone's Can't be shot. that much. I might give it a shot one day. Represent Barry at Town Hall. Yeah. But what if it was actually me? It ruins the state. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really funny so, movie. Sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> Maybe we can get like Marlowe Entertainment to actually come like make that movie. Barry ruins the state. You have to talk to uh, Charity Demo. She can do that too. Oh yeah, we'll we'll pay LSBN to do it. Then it could be more like a news report. Yeah. You can watch it on their fucking big ass theater. Giant screen, projector, man. yeah. Be a mockumentary. That would be funny. That would be really funny. Hey, thanks guys. Thanks, Dag. Yeah, where's Eve? She said she was decorating something. Uh she's down the road. I think uh, they were down CI. the road, yeah. That's where the okay. Rolls Royce is over there. Alright, I'll give her a call in and see if she still wants to show off the where she's working. I see business is booming. Yeah, it's pretty good. Which is yours, yeah, that, by the way? Uh, that one over there. Ah, I mean, okay, Yokai okay. spread. Yeah, all right. And this one here is the future in the writer's field. Good shit, Stag. Keep it up. Right your bow. Good seeing you, Mr. Miller. Actually, uh, what's good your CID? Let me, let me choose the writer's field. Huh? What is your state ID? Oh. 4916. What do you give me keys to? Riders Guild. Wait, don't I already have keys to that? Not to the storefront, I'm pretty sure. Why do I need keys to the storefront for? So you can do work. Oh. Wait, is this? Okay, I don't. Sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Put on some normal clothes. Please. Look who's talking. Look who's talking. I'm wearing. This is what millionaires wear. This is literally what millionaires wear. I. That's just. Yeah. Are those slides? Oh my god. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Take care. See you later. Stag, I have materials for you. Oh, yes. How much you got? Uh, eight hundred and eighty-three. Easy. Toss them in the trunk. And unlock this entire trunk. Yeah, this trunk. Come get in the trunk. I, I highly suggest you hold on to it for like a couple months and then sell it to Gold Rush. They actually buy and stuff. Uh, Murphy signed back in. Did he rejoin as a lawyer? 
No, dude can throw a temper tantrum, can do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, did you ever get in hold with, uh, get a hold of Thready? Yeah. And then he stopped picking up. <laughs> Fair. Yep. Uh, pretty much everything. I'll give him a call. Yeah, number? Yeah, you don't give out numbers, but other people do. I'm just polite. You're right gatekeeping now, what you're uh, doing. Did you then and shit? They stop talking. Makes me useful. Went up, like their material costs went up, and instead of you know adjusting, they some for some reason expect it to get changed. And five would have been at eight, eight, eight. I thought I'd see you in there. Yep. Yeah, I usually don't. I know. Land in the jail cells uh, very often. So. That, that's fair. I, I do business shit yeah. too. And do a bit of everything. Right. Something to do, yeah. When when I actually have something to do, I'm yeah, yeah. the death. Yeah, I feel that, especially uh, when there's no crime involved. Yeah, I don't even care what type of case it is. I just, as long as I have a case to work on, I'm happy. It is what it is. So. What you got delivered, Tori? Just some snackies and drinks. Snackies and drinks? Yeah. What snacks? Um, got like mini blueberry muffins. Then. Blueberry. Well, yeah, blueberry. The blueberry muffins are the best. Yeah, blueberries are the best. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call blueberry muffin the best. They're my favorite the muffins. Land dog, you might have some yokai recruits, yokol recruits. Yokol? Oh yokol? Here they are. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, good luck with that one. Well, fuck all happening today, so. Yep. Kind of chill, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're interested in the yo cult, huh? Oh, is that what's what's being said? What? How do you feel about our Lord and Savior Shinigam? I don't know what that is. She is a goddess. I have my card. I Absolute queen. Yokai is a new, exciting brand of god tier street racers. The coolest that you've ever seen. And we're Twitter stands. We stand them. Do, do you get a cool watch if you sign up? <laughs> you get more than just a watch. You see what I have on right now? This is our brand new yokai merch. You get to walk around the city repping this. Huh. You'll see a bunch of other like-minded individuals all repping it as well. Sounds like you guys need a lawyer to help with legal troubles. A yo cult lawyer? Uh-huh. Wow. Well, let me tell you about it, okay? All you got to do to join the Yo-Cult is go down to the clothing store, buy some of our brand new merch, tweet out a selfie of yourself wearing it, saying hashtag, I love Yo-Kai. And guess what? 
We'll defend you everywhere on Twitter. We we're stands. We know what's up. Yeah. We attack people that attack us. We defend everybody else. And by God, we stand and we send out. We go to all the races. We tweet out, you know, how great yokai is. All that stuff. Hmm. Sounds like you guys get attacked a lot. Oh, we get attacked a lot. What if you had a here to look they destroy people who attack you oh oh now we're talking the fate clan's uh -huh. got nothing on us yeah you could have a lawyer on retainer defend you guys stand up for you we standing up for the little first. one yeah, you have to join the yo yeah. cult have, we can't have a lawyer that's not in there you're in pajamas yeah so he is in pajamas, pajamas. and yeah you know, I would, but unfortunately, I'm not allowed to wear a t-shirt and, and pants like that at work, so. Listen, we got like half the police force in the yo cult, okay? You can do whatever you want. They do that shit on duty. Yeah, we I'm saw, not a cop, I'm a, a cop lawyer. show up to a bank robbery yesterday, and uh, he was wearing yokai merch. Uh, see, that's a cop. If Chief Justice Crane to prove it, I'll do it, but... Oh, you mean God Emperor Crane, the one who's part of the and recognizes us as a, you know, as a uh, a group of cool people? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. As a group of cool people. You know, he acknowledged us at a, a you know, you guys remember Jimmy? No. He's like... Yeah, Jimmy, you guys know Lando, the leader of the Yo cult. Yeah, he said that. Jim, Jimmy did that? Or oh, Crane. Crane did that? Yeah, Crane did that. Oh, I'm decorating stacks. Okay. Yeah, Hi, Nancy. Mm. Bye, Nancy. Hi. Wait, I'll be back in one sec. Okay, bye. Just consider it, guys. Get yourself some merch. Tweet out a selfie, hashtag I love yokai, and we'll go from there. I uh, I would. Uh, I have to remain politically unaffiliated for the sake of, I don't know, let's just say the future. Oh, Mickey's on our side. Listen, don't worry about yeah. it. We got the mayor on our side. The mayor I, tweeted, I, a, he, I he made state announcements for us. I absolutely saw, and I received a lot of ramifications for that, so thank you. <laughs> listen, listen, don't worry about that, okay? That's just... That's nothing, okay? I'm a future senator. That's, that's just... What? It's just... I'm a future senator. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a hang-around. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I gotta take Usually this. Usually you say hello when you pick up the phone, so... Uh, she hung up Hi, on me. Hi, It's fine. Oh. Hi. I should get into my yoke cold outfit. Hold on. Yeah. I don't know, are there like yokult yo undies that I can represent underneath, perhaps? <sighs> you know, we haven't had any made yet, you know, but they're in the mm. works. Maybe, maybe that's like the best way in which to support. But then you the gotta send us, you gotta send us up to you in the underwear. Oh, then huh? I suppose I can't do that. What? Shit Why not? Shit. What about a red tie? I could Ooh, do a red tie. A tie would be nice. Maybe some red dress shoes too. Yeah, uh, that may be pushing it too far. I can do okay, a red tie. Red tie. I can do a red tie. Okay. That's about the most I can do. I could do. I could maybe get away with a red jacket. Ooh, a red. See, jacket you you have good. no bounds like I do though. You won't lose your oh. job if you wear a t-shirt. Where I will. <laughs> That's because I'm private, buddy. Yeah. But that doesn't matter if I was a private lawyer or a Why? public lawyer. Why? Uh. Uh. Beat his thief! <laughs> On my truck? Oh. Yeah, she went over there. What's happening here? Uh, Dodo is trying oh, no. to do a delivery, and they're being very aggressive about it. Ass! 
That's Wait, assault, dude. Did you just I'll, send, Eve? I'll stand your ground and shoot them if you want. Yo, they ran you yes. over. Eve, you good? My bad. I didn't know you were that close, Eve. <laughs> a, a giant group of people here. My bad. I didn't know Eve was right there. It's all the giant group. There's 46 uh. people. Sorry about that, guys. We're suing. We're suing. Please Actually, don't. man, you wanna? Oh, An actual no, no, lawyer no, no. and a politician. No, 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 oh, no, no. God. No, I just, yeah, I just like the, them. I just think it's really well, funny uh, that like it's like a like a lawyer and a politician standing in a group. It's like this is the beginning of a joke. It I has see how no punchline. Oh, oh, now they're God. hitting my truck. <laughs> yeah, those are the locals hitting your truck, man. You right, you're fucking you truck them if you want. Locals are going <laughs> down. Us. A lawyer, a politician, uh, and a group of nerds. Standing in front of a comic book shop. Yeah, what's the punchline? I can't figure it out. I haven't got there uh, yet. Yo cult. Yo cult? Mm hmm. On top. Yo no, cult? That's, that's the punchline. Bye, bye, stay. I got enough evidence now to sue. What the fuck is with these locals? <laughs> Local? Um, I think they're dipping into a the menace. these meth. This, this is stash. quite the delivery. Uh, do you guys know Dr. Kyle Avalé? Have you met him yet? No. I think we're gonna bring him on to staff. Um, but he ran for mayor. Um, oh, in the other storm. You were yeah, in the about. other storm. Yeah. Uh, one of his policies, I loved this, was uh, part of the Clear yeah. Party, and was to have um, so locals nice. basically go to a reform school of sorts mm -hmm. or get therapy to make them less aggressive good mm. yeah i loved it they're they're horrific drivers they're constantly pulling into lanes of traffic just very suddenly i think they all have drug problems yeah mm -hmm. uh, so much as walk past them they see you later, shoving so. you later, man. see you guys nice Bye. meeting all of you last meeting yeah They'll start shoving and attacking you. I was shot by a local the other night because I gave him a hundred bucks. You gave a local a hundred dollars and he shot you? Yeah. Why would you give a local money? I was, he was asking for money, so I was trying to be nice. I gave him a hundred bucks. How did you give it to him? Like, you like casually put it in his hands or did you like aggressively throw it at him? I, I, I tried to give it to him and he wouldn't take it, so I threw it at him. So you pelted a homeless local person and you you are upset that he... I'm not upset, but it's just stating a fact that he shot me. Oh, Jesus. You good? Yeah, you know what's really great about that is I landed oh, perfectly I in the uh, in the bench. Wait, what? Like oh, in a happened. seated position. My Where are the car? cars? Beautiful. Why is my car here? That you... Uh, it just got bubbled real hard. <laughs> Seems like a dangerous stretch to just like hang out on. Oh. That's why I usually I I have to look at people crash. Buying though. material and behind the fence. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, but that was really funny. That was really funny. Just hit it. Just hit the piece of shit. What the fuck is? Yeah, I didn't want to use my car anyway. How did you battle dice? I did. Did you, lose? Did you win? I lost. Hunter K. Oh, yeah, he lost uh, before that. Did he go first? Hi, Pizar. What? Scraps. Apologize for hitting your guys' car. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, it was you? funny. Yeah, I apologize. That's okay. Hi, Who good to meet panning? you. Uh, yeah, yeah, Winston. I don't. This is the normally the bit when get out of the dash when you reply to them. This is the part where you don't fucking don't want me to. Why does the turn? cat look like that? Uh, what's what's that? How's this gold panning and stuff? It's going good. It's going good. You want to buy my dust and nuggets? Please, sir. Not at the moment. Why? What's going soon. on? Okay. That's good. All the what cars tweet have been hit about what tweet am I looking now. for? See you guys later. Love you. Bye. Bye, Pitar. Good meeting you, Pitar. So. 
they're <laughs> they're all in the have you actually met Patar? Or was that the first time? Yeah, it was the first time. Okay. Patar and the Mandem are doing uh all the gold stuff with Gold Rush. Uh-huh. Uh so they have the store down by Hayes called Rush. Um they're doing all the set up, selling all the gold pans and getting all that stuff sorted. That's where the entire city has been for days and days and days. It seems that way. It's been fun. I've been doing a little bit of it myself. But even cops are just like fucking off duty and going and gold panning. Yeah, Mickey blew me off uh, yesterday to go, quote, kill people who are poop panning. Yeah, they're shit panners. Shit panners in the south side. Yeah, they go panning in the canal. and I mean, what are you going to pan? It's literally just poop. Today, uh, he had to not get married today. Yeah, he oh. didn't wake up. Yeah, he's <laughs> not a way to get out of marriage. Not feeling super great, so he was not able to make his train in. Oh, either. got it. Okay. Why does he, he just pull a fingle? Uh, what, get, huh? get Nancy, do you have Peach? Peach's number by chance? I do not. No. Yeah, it seems like no one does, except for Bill. Cops would. I don't know many cops. Oh, you can just three on one. And say what? I need to find Officer Peach. Hmm. In the yellow pages. Yeah, they actually give out people's uh, personal information very frequently and easily. Mm -hmm. Well, it should be that way because it's, you know, they're government employees and public record. Oh, I just mean like everyone. Oh, okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. kind of dangerous, but okay. What are the laws in this city? Uh, debatable <laughs> if they even exist. Oh, Sloan. They, they don't really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they they bend very very uh, easily for whatever cop decides to enforce them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whatever judge decides to sign what. Yep. Oh, Sometimes... Nancy, is this is this your raccoon? Yes, this is Scraps. Um, you should be aware that there is legislation that I am not drafting to try and take him away. Why? Because some people don't like the idea of wild animals being held uh, by individuals. I take it. Who? Who what? Who's drafting who's... it? Yeah. I don't know who's drafting it. I was just told about it and they asked me to help and I said, I don't think I can. Y yeah, this is, that's ridiculous to me. Like, yeah, I, he, don't, I don't understand. He was injured when yeah. I found him in a dumpster. I've taken care of him. I take him to the vet. I feed him a healthy diet. He's not rabid. He has all his shots. He gets regular vet checks. He's friendly with everybody he meets. I mean, he seems he pretty chill. Maybe yeah, he has a, a warm home to live in. Um, his best friend is my boyfriend's dog. And Edbert. Like, he fixes cars at the arena for me sometimes. Oh, wow. Huh? Yeah, he's very talented. He uses all seems of his little way. hands. I guess yeah. some digits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, Opposable digits. I think having him taken away would just... Yeah. If they release him into the again. wild, he would probably die we at this are point. Back again. Yeah, I'm, some I'm people I know have bought their records on back. the black market, but like Thanks. this is he's a rescue. This is a rescue. Yeah. yeah. Some thing. people have paid like up to a million dollars for a raccoon. Oh. I, I found him. <laughs> I, I found who. him in a dumpster <laughs> and wanted to rescue him. Who would spend a million dollars on a raccoon? <clears throat> this little guy. He was covered in fleas when I found him. I gave him a bath. Patched up his little cuts. I think he doesn't see right out of one of his eyes. What was that cough, Nancy? Oh, just there's there's somebody in the city for a very long time who oh. was making oh little buddy. There was somebody in the city for a long time who was making like a petition and like putting signs up everywhere saying that they wanted a raccoon really really bad. Yeah. And I'm assuming the person who paid a million dollars for raccoon is probably this person. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Like twatter oh, spamming, it was like oh, was it? <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was Reese. 
Hell no, it was no. Fiona. <laughs> no, Fiona did not put up yeah, any signs. She just paid the bill. Hated the, the people you worship. Damn. Damn. Sorry, what? Yeah, what happened to Fiona? Yokal hated on fucking Yokai right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, 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 calm down, Stitch Line. Okay. <laughs> Stitch Line. Oh, yeah, oh. you heard me. We know what you guys did. Thanks for the book. Yo call. Yo called. Yo called. Anyways, if this little guy gets taken away, I don't know what I'll do. He's like my therapy animal at this point. What if I get him designated as a therapy animal? Because he's like actually my emotional support. Yo. Maybe they can't take him yeah. away at that point. I I'm just more um, making you aware that Which that's a thing. That's mm -hmm. being I appreciate worked it. on. So, I've heard that there was people trying to get them taken away in court or something, and I was like, "This." I think this is probably directly in response to that. Right. Okay. I'm gonna talk to a therapist. It's a little more than get them taken away. Uh, Wrangler pretty much took them and almost uh, executed them. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, he almost oh. euthanized them like immediately, illegally. <laughs> Yeah, he also shot a dog He in a courtroom. He shot another dog. He stole a dog and held it captive owner. Um, in his defense, it was a pug. How is that a defense? They're kind of evil. Based on... Oh, I thought you were going to go the route of they should be put out of their misery for no, even existing. No, Like no. not being able to breathe, but no, you I said evil. Dogs. I, I like dogs too, but do, do you say that based on the fact that like Demi Black is a, uh, someone who has a pug and is an open Satanist? Huh? Huh? No. Okay. No. I'm just I'm just connecting dots. I'm trying to connect dots. You, you think pugs are actually evil? What is that guy doing? Yeah, and they look evil. Oh, that's Bjorn. He's uh stupid. Oh, he's going inside. Oh, okay. They made it. Nice. Yeah, he's got a crack addiction. Okay. His mother, Tori, who was here earlier, uh, encourages it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his family's uh, fucked up. His dad doesn't care about him. His mom gives him crack. And Bjorn was dumb to begin with. How, how old is he? Fuck if I know. I both see him as very young and very old. Okay. Bjorn's 21. He's what? 21. Oh, was he 21? I thought he was 25. Nah, he's 21. And how old are you? Who are you asking? Lando. Lando. How old am I? Yeah. Uh. Ageless. How do you not know your age? Because once you once you hit like. 27 everything just kind of starts to blur together i think i'm like yeah. 34. Yup. yeah you just stop counting mm -hmm. yeah like 35 maybe 37 i don't know it sounds about right old. holy shit you're old okay glorion was like 50. glorion was True. actually 50. yeah but yeah, that's glorion. Glorion. 50 years old but he died yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Dead. More than three days. Is oh. that the stipulation? Three days and yeah. you're dead. People can't you take a weekend for out of the city. Three days, thing? they're done. Oh. oh well, if you let people know that you know you're gonna be gone, then it doesn't count. If you're gone for longer than that period, or you're gone for three days unannounced, you're dead. Though. Yeah, that is true. Interesting. In the kitchen department. Like there was a day. Uh, a couple weeks ago, where all of us thought Lang was dead maneuver. because of a picture that was posted on Twitter. It was very, very, very sad. I don't know who fell for that. I, I did, because I was told by everybody he was fucking dead. Did Lando say it to you? You shouldn't ever believe anything he said. Oh, I heard it, and I was spreading the news. I was spreading, like, finally. I heard it originated from Harry, and I don't know why anyone would ever believe anything that yeah. I was not. Even Eve told me. Eve's a fucking crackhead. What? Eve's dramatic. 
We went to the casino and gambled in his honor. It's not crack, it's meth. Oh, Eve's a fucking meth head. Eve doesn't do drugs. She absolutely does. She owns Even a dispensary. Police were telling me that Lang was dead. I'm sitting right here. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> Didn't see you there. What's up, dude? How's it going? I I, I love the casual You're like looking nonchalant. Really good like... today. <laughs> that was that was the best. Thank you all for participating in that. You 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 look great today, Eve. That's just like so my pretty. apprentice in training. Did, did you get your hair done, Nancy? What? You said she looked you don't pretty. Don't look she so angry pretty. today. Anyone who says you look so pretty is up to no good. Stag, you Stag, look so you pretty. you look so pretty today. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just like Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, Sloan, have you met Warhog? I have not met Warhog. You were dressed more like him Yorn, yesterday with the Warhog with the video. No, I googled I googled Mark Zuckerberg yeah. outfit, and this is literally what he's wearing. Really? Yeah. Nice. Come here, Hog. S like Sloan, one this to is one. Warhog. I Warhog. Don't mount him without permission, or he goes fucking crazy. Oh yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I would never. Oh my God. Up on the hog's back. Oh. I hope he runs you out into the street. He would never. Hey, buddy. Hi, Warhog. Uh, he takes big shits and he eats anything. Doing, so. Yeah. That, oh, that sorry. Is. She. Warhog is a she. Yeah, Why you, you can see the hog hog hogosy in the back here. Oh, Sweetie? Warhog does not want to be called a she, Stag. Sweetie. Warhog has a hogosy. Hogosy. <laughs> Sloan could ride Warhog. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's okay. I, uh... Oh, Sloan, please. Come on. No, you, no, no, it's no, an no. honor. It's it truly an honor. honor. No, it's, it's really It would be rude fine. not to. It, it's, it would be considered rude not to. No, no, no. It's, it, we'll, we'll I know, I know Warhog smells really bad, and that's just because it, it's filthy. No, no, that, I mean, that's not it at all. Sloan, come on. No, of course not. I, I, would, I would never touch another man's hog. Oh, he's giving you permission. Yeah. I mean, permission or not, it just it seems it's like a rite like of passage in this city. It's just a little yeah. ride. I'll touch his hog. I mean, who wants to? I just, I just am not really a big fan of riding another man's hog. Why, Why not? not? My <laughs> TV totally so rude. Oh, Warhog's pissed now. I, don't uh, I mean, no, no offense. I mean, it's, it just my eat your oh, foot, offense man. taken. Hog. Thank we'll be back. Okay. Hog will never be the same. Well, apologies to Mr. Hog, Mr. Mrs. Hog. Your cat is in the middle of the road. Yeah, he's fine. See, he's looking both ways. Come on, Scraps. No, don't walk towards nice. oncoming Scraps. <laughs> okay. Walking scraps. straight towards that car. Scraps, scraps honey. Scraps. Scraps, scraps, honey. Honey, scraps. scraps. Oh, God. Good oh, work, Lando. Gonna... Oh. oh, my oh, God. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Come here. Thank you. Uh-oh. Scraps, can you... Is curb too tall for you, buddy? <laughs> scraps. Scraps, please. Fucking loser. Are you serious, Scraps? You can call him a <laughs> fucking loser. It's an animal. <laughs> being a real L animal right now. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's just so unnecessary. All right, we're good. Don't run into me, you dummy. Silly goose. Little legs aren't tall enough for curbs. Hell. Bounce. Oh. Uh. Look what you go did. Kill that guy. Look, he's going for him. He got fast. Yeah, he's a he's a fast little fucker. <laughs> oh 
how could you? Rescued and then... I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you've done this. Hold on, let me phone him. I like your car! You're gonna call him? Yeah, I'm gonna call him. Hi, Scraps Honey. Can you come? Yeah, I feel really bad. I didn't mean it. Do you mind if you just... Is she going yeah. insane? No, I'll, maybe I'll cook little. you a nice dinner Even later, Even the local okay? laughed at her. Later, babe. All right. Bye, bye, honey. You get foiled by curbs oh. again. Oh, you I did made it. Curb. You did the cow. Oh, look at you. So proud. Anyways, you gonna get a dog or something, Sloan? Uh. I have a dog, but um, you, yeah, but uh, you know, he stays out of the city. Yeah, fair enough. Right, hey, you don't live here. I forgot about that. That's right. Yeah, I, I just commute in and out of the city. Commute. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, my wife takes care of him when I'm here. Yep, there's the cardigan. Uh, I'm gonna make some food. Yeah, these yo cultists. Are you not a, a cultist? A yo cultist? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't understand it. Apparently Tim Collins is and was representing at City Hall, which I thought was an interesting choice. Yeah, they're stands, you know, relatively harmless, except on water. They'll they'll slander you on water. I'm I'm more concerned about the fact that the yokai are a an illegal racing crew to be supported by any singular political or government entity would probably be. Oh, you didn't see the state announcement? No, I I saw it. I got a lot of trouble because of it. It was, how could you let Mickey do this? Hey guys, Eve, come along. <laughs> We're going to go to the Yo Cult HQ. Huh? Is that just a clothing store? That's why I have no idea. But it's. Yeah, Levi told me about it. What are you doing, Alex? Yo, you're getting no cash. Run her over! What the hell are you doing? Oh, the hell are you doing? That's aggressive. <laughs> Be naughty. <laughs> Bring in the She's heat. literally invincible. What the fr- Alex, get in the car. Get in the car. Alex, Alex in the car. Nancy in the car. I'm going to Yo Cult HQ. Top secret. Hold on. Alright, I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye, Sloan. Good to see you. 
You too, bye. Uh, my dog knows when I say, okay, bye. And, uh, most of the time that's like when I'm on actual phone calls and stuff. And so, um, saying that right then he came in the room thinking that I was done with a phone call and it was like time for dinner or something <laughs> too early. Uh, the guild's fun to hang out with. That was a good time. <laughs> Not really doing anything, but I mean, it's a Friday night, so what is there to do? Oh no. I hate this. What is happening? This keyboard sucks. Okay, so, um, chat, is it, is it weird if I ask in chat what the deal was with Anna? I mean, you can DM me if you prefer. <laughs> Part of me is actually really glad that the Lang meeting didn't happen, the Cerberus meeting didn't happen today. Honestly, if they if they end up forgetting about it completely, it's like whatever. <laughs> because the the biggest reason I wanted to meet with them was mostly the other stuff, which now we figured out can happen through um, Wise Guy's character. Mega Karen class level one eleven. <laughs> what? Oh, that's so nerdy.
I mean, it'll it'll be good to to meet with them regardless, but um, for the reasons of like making sure what we're working on is um, appropriate, rather than wide open. Like Mickey talks about everything so openly, and I think to like. I don't know that hide is the right word, but like be more intentional about who he talks to and doesn't talk to. Okay. Hey, three me. Hey, Peach, how are you? Oh, well, not bad. Hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Sloan Kelly. I am uh, the assistant to the mayor, Mickey. Oh, okay. You have um, some news for me? I, I do. Unfortunately, the mayor is uh, not going to be able to make it into the city this okay. evening. Okay, uh, sounds good enough for me. Yeah, he wanted me to let you know. Um, and okay, so the, the wedding is going to have to be delayed, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, no worries. Okay. That's okay with me. Perfect. And by the way, yes. okay, I want a pink G wagon. A pink G wagon? Is this this yeah. is like the the wedding gift? Huh? This dowry? is the wedding gift, okay? A dowry, okay? A dowry, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, okay. It. We can we can yeah. probably make that a pink one. A pink one, okay? Pink one. Can it be yeah, used, yeah. Or, or do you need a new one? Oh, it can be used. That's can be used. well. Yeah, it can be used. Yeah, yeah. I'll take any G wagon at this point. Everybody has a G wagon, but me. Peach, <laughs> I'm if, not crying. I'm not crying. It's just allergies. Me, you you sound a little upset, do you? Do you not want to get married? Oh, I want to get married, but I want a G wagon. It, so they have the G wagon is, is like part yeah. of the marriage contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's make it happen, okay? I can do okay? that for you. Yeah, of course. You're, you're the best. This is one best. You know, this is why. This is why Mickey has you the assistant, okay? You <laughs> put the ass in the assistant. Well, I, I appreciate that. That's uh, uh, yeah. Why I work out. Thank you, thank you. Of course. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Whenever next week. It's all good. All good, all good. Perfect. Sounds good. Well, thank you, Peach. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Enjoy your Bye. 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 Pink G Wagon. Is it Peach Ingle or Peach Chingle? My dog is pissed. Peach Chi. That's right. Peach Ingle is the Dan. Take cover, Sloan. What's going on? Freaking gunshots. I did not hear gunshots. Did, bro, brother, there was a rain of bullets. I could hear from the chorus. <laughs> I could see it from inside the courtroom. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't hear anything out here. What, what the heck? I don't know. Or well, I got you, man. Look at the MP5. Are we ready? I don't carry. Why do you not carry? I don't feel like it's really necessary. I get that. Yeah, I mean, the line of work we're in, it's like, I'm not going to be defending myself necessarily that way. I, I Defend suppose. myself via words. Yeah, exactly. You know, fundamentally, it's all about your words, right? So. Yeah, the, the only time it didn't seem to work is when I was taken captive by Mike Block. Oh, yeah, there's no... He doesn't care if he... No, he don't care. No, no, he does He's not. He's a different kettle of fish. Uh-huh. Okay, so Anna's being poached by Bass to be a CI. Roller Burn Buddha, Nina, yeah. Dunny. Pissed I'm her just chilling, you know how it is. Screw over Bass. Involved a bunch of blowing smoke up his, uh, up his butt. Lies. He's gonna get a huge score in arrest. Took a bag of meth that she was holding for someone else and gave it to Bass as a trust thing. Bass managed to get a search and raid warrant. And one bag of meth. A bunch of BS. Made up lies. Rated Anna. 
Stolen shoes, broken hatchet, and his head. That's funny. Yeah, they got the good spot. Probably getting pounded, but. But that was enough to, like, piss off the boys and, like, ruin everything? Makes a lot more sense but that's i mean that's the sbs of that crew is they don't really listen like you can you can look at anything from the last year where and this is like me being a blau defender where mickey was trying to come up with a plan and how little anybody even in the current clean boys ever pays attention they all have the attention span of a goldfish and now blau's the same way <laughs> Jeez. So was it, you said Sav was the one who was able to actually like get you prio? Was that like in response to how you RP'd the rest of that situation out? like setting up to be like a really cool RP thing and God, that sucks. Was Anna a lawyer then?
I didn't know where I was running. <laughs> it would be interesting to see if they RP out a fall guy motive in what happens with the Mickey stuff. Are you up to date on what's happening with um, the investigation now, chat? current investigation when Mickey paid Sloan the 3.1 million dollars um, for all of his back pay um, okay yeah I, I get that I'll, I'll give you the the breakdown um, I'll, I'll give you the breakdown about what Sloan is uh, certain of and speculative of based on um, how things have unfolded in his conversations with Bunny and Nancy and um, some of the interactions with other folks in the city. Uh, and then there's the OOC stuff, which got meted to me because it was something that I got tagged in one of Blau's chats for. Um, Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people don't know he exists, which is interesting um, because he does have a very heavy handed role in the stuff that Mickey's doing. And I'm trying to figure out the scope of what the RP needs to look like for him. And I messaged Blau OC earlier because yesterday was like a really rough day um, for Blau because he was getting so much crap based on decisions that I had made which are in character, but are based on a combination of like a politician should be open and honest about the things that are, that are going on. The Buddha stuff about like running his mouth, um, and like Nancy's protection of Buddha. Um, and then like Mickey being like, does he need to deal with it? Kind of mentality. Um, so Sloan is extremely moral. That's the, that's the long and short of it. He's extremely moral and, and he, um, really genuinely wants to be able to help the city. That's like the primary function of his being here. That's part of the reason he agreed to work for a reformed criminal, um, was because he expected that it would be genuinely a, um, Well, <laughs> a, a true politician. Well, I mean, if you, if you think about a politician, um, in, in the truest sense of the word, a politician talks about the things that they're most invested in that fit their party's needs. Um, there is no concept of a real party in Los Santos. Um, so like you think about like the, the Trump versus Biden administrations and like the difference of how they are, right? You're playing to the strengths of what you think your party is going to be most invested in Trump's, uh, hyper focus on, um, what we should just call broadly Christian nationalism, though, as a man, he really clearly doesn't know what that means. And Biden's major focus on making things affordable and reasonable for the middle class. Um, those are like the two juxtaposed sides of the political angle for those two um, parties well, because that stuff doesn't exist here. There's, there's really only one space for you to reside in as a politician, which is kind of where Bunny's perspective lays, which is um, if I'm going to be a clean politician, then my focus should be on the betterment of civilian um, 
lifestyle. Right. And, and so that's why he values the relationship with Bunny to some degree, because uh, the, the, like, the thing she has to offer is very valuable for input that he doesn't have. She has relationships that he doesn't have. He has, uh, or she has a lot of really good input for what the civilians need. But at the same time, he picks up on the fact that she's still pretty self-serving um, in who she hangs out with. Perfect example is if you look at her businesses, it employs basically all of the same people. Um, and uh, and that's that's the the challenge of um, Sloan in, in trying to understand like what, you know, if, if she is invested in all the things that she's really invested in, why does she continue to focus so heavily just on the same people? Um, and, and I think like the OOC reason is exactly chat. It's the, it's the, it's the clicks, but the, the in character reason is, um, I want to read that from spazzles. Uh, even Blau said the bunny was the correct choice for Mirren. Los Angeles is full of morons for voting for Mickey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bunny, bunny is in part the right choice, but even Emma was voted above bunny, right? People wanted to vote for Emma above bunny. Um, but Emma's doing the same thing, right? Like the character of Emma still chooses predominantly, um, things that seem to benefit her, her character and isn't really civilian focused. And, um, like her being the CEO of Ron oil is a perfect example of, um, how you really should not. And this is, I think this is part of the reason why Sloan is really trying to stay agnostic as much as he can. Um, you really can't start to play favoritisms just because you like to you know, like a certain group of people or, or whatever it may be. And, and we kind of saw how that panned out in the conversation first thing this morning with Eve and the way that Ash gave out a storefront that maybe she shouldn't have given out. And it's because she's employed there. Now, I only know that OOC because I was watching Eagle Eye stream earlier, but um, that's what she was referring to is like some, there needs to be some level of regulation. So Sloan, the character of Sloan is really like this concept of a good bureaucrat, somebody who is most interested in doing good for the city, but he's quickly learning that to do the best good for the city, it sometimes is gonna require the right partnerships and the right influence. And that's where the conversation with Lang came in because right now he knows that Mickey is really kind of being driven in large part by decisions that Lang is making. And it doesn't take meta knowledge to know this. It takes a little bit of MDW research and the few conversations he's had with Bunny to figure that out. The fact that Bunny pointed out straightforward when she read the the acts that um, uh, the the Vinewood against gangs thing, um, like she she goes, this looks like it's trying to be benefit like one person, and and the fact that she pointed it, that out and like started to open up the the curtain for Sloan about like oh there's there are some people that Mickey's tied to his relationship with Lang. Like you should be aware of this stuff. Um, those are, those are good things for Sloan to know and be aware of, but at the same time, he's also kind of getting more and more information about like Mickey's probably not as good as he pretends to be. Mickey himself said he was going to go kill people in the, uh, in the canals. Like there's, there's a lot of stuff that like is slowly like Sloan slowly becoming aware of that are like, oh, he still maybe is a little bit more criminal than he is let on. Yes, he does want to do good for the city. It's not just ex eccentricities. It's it's like I think there's something else there. So that's that's kind of the like at like character development. Well, Bunny let it slip to Sloan when he um so he asked Bunny in a, in a meeting how he paid back stipend money. Oh my God. Um, hold, hold on one second, y'all. My wife's gone.
Sorry about that. Um, so so Sloan took a million dollar stipend from uh, the government to be able to buy his car. And then what was left of it was $760,000. He asked Bunny how to pay it back. And, and in that conversation, Bunny let it slip that um, Mickey might be under investigation. Like you, he, I think the, her wording was, um, you should keep good records of all of this stuff in case Mickey ever got investigated. And Sloan said, well, why would Mickey be investigated? And her response was, oh, well, most mayors are investigated in their second term. And then she used Emma as the example. There's no reason for Sloan, who believes that somebody is a good person, would ever think they'd be in, under investigation. And then she justified having um, access to all of the state funds as like the reason for that. Um, then there was uh, the instance where they were on top of where she does the beekeeping and, and we were looking at the, the role of the mayor and the deputy mayors and trying to determine what the scope would be for the new deputies. Um, that she changed the story about why Mickey might be being investigated. And it was suddenly um, no longer about money. It was about gross negligence and or dereliction of duties. Gross negligence because he had passed all of his work along to the deputies or dereliction of duties because he was gone for three months. But still she harped on the fact that he could be investigated. And, and that was... Um, What's that chat? You, you're right where Anna fell and lost the big game. Oh yeah, I'm stuck stuck in this place of like, it, it could be all over as quickly as it began. So, so this is where Sloan is kind of like stuck in this moral dilemma of wanting to do good by the city, knowing that because Mickey is a powerful person, because Lang and Dean are powerful people and he owes somewhat, um, his his allegiance at least right now to the current mayor's office but part of the reason he intentionally didn't take the deputy position is because boney had already revealed this stuff by the time that that request came through um had he not had that conversation it probably would have been yeah i would love to be a deputy because it's not really about the money for me um but part of it was if he is under investigation i don't want to be anywhere near this um I, and to that point, I don't know that it's her that's necessarily pushing it. I think she knows about it because her husband is in the SCU. And so this is the next piece that kind of fills this out a little bit. So, so, um, Ayub mentioned in character that if anyone was investigating, it would be the street crimes unit because there's no other group that would do that. Um, Sloan being smart looked up in the MDW, Sexton Hardcastle, after he learned Sexton's last name and determined, found out that um, Hardcastle is a detective in the SCU. One second. Hi, Ranger Lane. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. I, uh, sorry, Mr. Call, in the middle of something. Not a problem. I assume you, you may have a lot going on with various duties of the day. Duty. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I have two things. First of all, um, I have more details on the uh, having a person present at your store. Um, okay. It should be possible, but you have to put in a construction request for it, basically. Um, and okay. that's just done through Andy Jones. So there's okay. that part. Yep. And it could just be as simple as putting in a little proposal for her, and that's it. Kind of getting construction to work on it. So that's, nice. that's the first thing. Yep. Uh, second thing is, um, Ayub sent me over your original oil request for legislation. Um, something that we wanted to include in our next round of legislation submissions. Um, okay. I think basically everything you had in there is pretty much good to go. Um, I, I don't think there's any reason that we have to change anything. I think that was like one of the concerns that he'd sent over to me was like in the off chance, anything had to be reworded. Um, I don't think anything does. I think all of the charges and everything okay. look fine. Um, and so that basically just to kind of keep you informed, I plan to submit. I did simplify um, a little bit of the, the like wordiness of it just because, you know, if you look at the MDW, it's all. What? What do you mean? What? You simplified. Where? Oh, do you, would you? I can email you uh, the yeah. 
the, Email me. Yeah. I have to know. I have to. Yeah, if you sure. simplify anything, change my wording on uh, any of it, I need to know about it. Okay, I can do that. Because I've been screwed over really bad in the past with my legislation. It sure. rewarded something and it changed the thing entirely. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think it changed the meaning or the intention at all. It's it's just uh, not maybe not rewording, just parsing down. Um, okay. But yeah, I'll send it to you. Um, you should see an email or at least a, a request from Apollos One is my email. I'm happy to okay. say that openly because nobody emails me. Uh, <laughs> so. So as soon as we have that, I'll send over uh, what this latest draft is. I think there's one note I would love your uh, feedback on as well, um, just to get some clarification. Okay. Yep. And that's pretty much all I got. All right. Sounds good to me. I'll look it over. Just uh, Sorry, I'm kind of finicky about the wording sure. stuff. It's no, that's just, totally um, you. You're all, I tried like, to fix the right. loitering law, and okay. then they rewrote everything that I sub and changed the whole uh, meaning of what I wrote. Gotcha. And then the law ended up getting deleted entirely. Oh. Which was not my intention. Yeah. Um, so I just, I want to make sure that that yeah. doesn't happen to me again. Absolutely. Because that was a very sad day for me. Uh, understandably so. Yeah, I, okay. uh, I am happy to uh, work with you on it to make sure it, it still follows the exact scope that you want, uh, and we can just get it into okay. uh, this next round. I think we're um, almost ready to submit. Um, I'll actually go ahead and add it into the one that we're, like, literally finalizing, um, if we can get it nailed down now. So. All right, sounds good cool. to me. I appreciate the follow-up. I'll yeah. contact Andy, the um, employee, and we'll see if we can get them started. Sounds great. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, well, actually, yes. One more thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, never mind. I think I was supposed to follow up with the judges about the whatever the heck um license plates. Oh yeah, yeah. I got to talk to the yeah, judges okay. uh, right. to see what what possibility there would be about getting it done at the school. Okay. All right, I will do that. Thank you very much. Yes, you have a wonderful day. Absolutely. You too. Bye. Okay, um, where were we? So Sloan is um, quickly becoming aware that a conversation has probably happened between Bunny and Hardcastle that leads him to believe that Mickey is under investigation and it's directly related to Sloan uh, and the money he got. Because when, when he talked about giving the money back, not only did she balk at it, but when he talked to Judge Fitzpatrick about the same thing, Judge Fitzpatrick went crazy over it. Um, talking about he's a saint. He like, like this, this guy is, is like, why, who would ever do that? Like, that's just unheard of. And, and like, a, like literally in character equated him to Jesus. And, and um, it was, I mean, it was a very strange interaction. And so it, it like has led Sloan to believe that like some, something is up. And so part of the conversation that he wants to have with Bunny next is a little bit, a little bit of a confrontation. Like, what do you know? And what are you not saying? Um, I don't know if that'll happen today or, or sometime in the near future, but a little bit of that is like a, you kind of need to tell me because if we're going to work together, I need to know that I can trust you. And right now I'm not sure that I can. Um, anyway, so there's that part. The Lang stuff and the Cerberus stuff, um, knowing that they're powerful and having the conversation that he had with Booba today and Booba's hesitancy to work with them in the kind of capacity that uh, originally he had intended further and the conversation with Anna yesterday further reinforces that like if he partners with them, it should only be for the purposes of his own protection. Um, not not that. Um, Cerberus is inherently evil or anything like that. He doesn't know anything like that or, or like obviously he's heard in character that they're pretty self-serving and that they, they want to make themselves better. Buddha even said yesterday in the meeting that like they expect some of the legislation that they have to, to fail um, and not get through. The purpose of, of having a partnership would be to get their ideas on how they could word the things that they're working on specifically for the betterment of the city rather than making anything sound like it's too overly supportive of one entity and the reason he wants to do that is because 
he thinks that by having their input on it and legislating kind of on their behalf, even if like they're the ones who are, are like supporting players. And if it's going to get pushed down from Mickey anyway, he's going to have to do it because he worked for Mickey and he knows that. Um, he might as well get the input of people who can, when he gets kicked back from either Crane or the Senator, whoever, they can say, here's what we think the, the more citywide justification could be. Um, so that Sloan's protection is, um, this looks good for the city, not for one group. Now, putting in terms with, and, and I said this in the meeting yesterday, a mutual non-disclosure, not a single-sided non-disclosure. The, the contract that he's drafted up is a mutual non-disclosure, meaning they can't say anything as much as I can't say anything. And that's not something that typically happens in the city. Usually there's a one-sided non-disclosure. So the mutual non-disclosure that I've created would basically ensure that both parties are going to be held to keeping their tongues in the event that anything does get leaked, whether that be from Mickey or from Cerberus. I know the majority of what Ling's RP around yesterday was, is he wants to make it, um, he, he wants to keep the Cerberus industry stuff. This is a little OOC, but he, he RP'd it out pretty well. He wants to make sure that the, the Cerberus Industries army or armory stuff is like released with the CBPD stuff. Like that's that's what was meted to me. Um, I understand why they want to do that, but we've been talking about missiles for months, right? We've been we've been saying this since the beginning of the first term. Since I've been in here, we've been talking about it. It does not take much to figure out who is going to be doing it. I think Blau said this in character yesterday. Um, if you go look at the MDW at new businesses, Cerberus Industries Armory is one of the first things to show up. If you just look for Cerberus, Cerberus Industries Armory is right there with Lang Buddha as the CEO. Like, literally, they didn't try and hide it at all. They called it Cerberus. Like, if they wanted it to not be something like blatantly in your face, call it something else. That's, that's a little, and, and like, I'm not saying this to be like, arrogant sounding or anything like that. I'm saying this to be like, if they hadn't, if they had the intention to hide it, they could have hit it. Um, I know that they want this to be secretive and they're trying to do it from like a, like a big announce perspective. The missiles is probably not the thing to do it with. It would be the next thing that they want to invent. <laughs> Only the nosy people that, that was, I, I, heard Lang's perspective when he goes this uh because I was watching Blau's VOD because that's the the soft meta part of this character is he's supposed to get all of that information through quote voice memos from from Mayor Mickey so I heard it in in Blau's VOD yesterday um this this 5000 IQ character and I'm like well he's not 5000 IQ he's he's literally responsible for legislating and so the first thing he does when he goes into work every day, and you guys will see this just about every time that I'm on stream is like, I'll go in and research people and I'll research like who I'm going to be meeting with or research businesses and learn things like, how do you think he knows Bunny has so many associates that are all the same thing? That's not from conversations. You can find that in public record. It's, it's not nosy. It's, it's informed. And to be a, an uninformed politician would be a very bad politician. Um, so to pride himself on being informed is just being good at his job. And so that's, that's kind of the part that like, it's not being 5,000 IQ. It's not, it's, it's just like putting together some very small pieces and, and absolutely. And Anna said it yesterday, knowledge is power. And, and it's not that, and, and this is what's really interesting is everybody that is metaing in Buddha's chat is like, we think Sloan is snaky. Well, Sloan's not trying to do anything to screw over Cerberus. Cerberus is not an enemy. There's, there's no reason to screw them over. Um, he's really genuinely trying to do what's best for the city. And, and that's what like people have a hard time believing that there's any character that would want to do what's right and best for the city. If that includes working directly with Cerberus, then that's what it includes. Like it would, it would be great for Cerberus to have more influence in some areas. Um, if on the other hand, it means giving other people a chance. And this is what Anna said, giving other people an opportunity, then so be it. And I'll give you the other perfect example. Cerberus put in the Cerberus business armory thing 
um, and it took them one day to get it approved. Sloan's business is literally the same thing, and it waited for over hey, a hey, month. Hey, hey like how's it going? Tie. Oh, thank you. Good to see you again. You're very welcome. You look very distinguished. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, I, uh, at, you know, we talked about the Pablo Lara last time we chatted. We talked about the what? The Pablo Lotto. We, uh, the, the scratchers. Oh, shit. I do remember. Yeah. I, I won one and I wanted to give it to you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I do it right now. I do it right now. Well, I mean, it's it's already scratched off, but you can, oh. if you want to call him, it's 300 bucks. Oh, it's $300? Yeah. Oh, fucking well. Where the fuck do I take it? You just call Pablo next time you see him in the yellow pages. Oh, okay. I will do. Yeah. Why all that? much and Absolutely. i just want to say i love the fucking flag on your chest sir oh thank it's you everything i fucking live for yeah i uh i'm in that unique position where i work for the mayor and i kind of feel like it, it gives me a little stand out oh wow you you know what you might be the perfect person to be a reference on my pd application okay yeah i'd be happy to oh fucking a fucking a yeah let's do it man okay what was your fucking my name is Sloan Kelly. I'm the advisor to Mayor Mickey. Well, that is really fucking high. I don't even know exactly what that means, but that is that sounds super fucking prestigious. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, well, I'm just saying, you know, right now, obviously, it's neighborhood watch, Dewey Dangle. But just know that one day it will be deputy Dewey Dangle out here saving lives. I love it. Just make sure that you do it with um, honor and integrity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will make all the bald eagles fucking proud. Um, they see me, they will shed a single teardrop and spread their wings over me, sir. I love it. Keep that same energy. Yes, sir. I will. Thank you so much, sir. Absolutely. I will not disappoint you. Love it. Um, yeah. Let me grab some food and then uh, my wife is going to be home in a little bit, so I probably need to be closing up shop. But... Yeah. Didn't mean to do that. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You know, not too bad today. Good. Can I get a filling combo, please? Of course. If you want there for me, I'll grab that for you. Done deal. That was that was a crazy head wreck. Sorry. You're all good. And, uh, Hello, welcome to Ooh. Awesome, thank you. Like looking in the mirror. What? Three way mirror. We're also handsome. <laughs> yeah, we all have glasses. Ooh, I like yep. your pin. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I uh, I work for the mayor, so I felt it was kind of fitting. You work oh, for dope. Mickey. I do. Yeah, I work for Mickey. He works for us. Haven't we met before? The people. He does work. Yeah, aren't people. you like the str the strategist? Yeah, yeah, the the advisor. You and I met outside of Maldini's, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And you and uh, Deuce, right? Like uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. See, I try to remember people I've met. I, I also like your tie. You know? <laughs> oh, thanks, man. This is it's pink, look, right? Yeah, pink, pink and blue. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that for this outfit. Or is, yeah, for this outfit. There you or go. is that like? Something just you can wear. Oh no, you no, can. It's in the. That. It's in the store. No, I guess I just never explored. Yeah, it's nice. Gotta look around. It's there. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think I'm Appreciate two pink. It. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Change, change it up a little bit. Do a little something different. Yeah, I love it. Sounds good. Yeah, how's advising for the mayor? Uh, it's good. It's uh, it's carrying a lot of weight some days, but uh, you know, at the end what of. You mean because he's never days. around? <laughs> well. He, he comes around. He usually comes around about now. He actually was supposed to be in the city today, but I don't think he's feeling too well. So he was going to take oh, a, no. a night off. But yeah, um, we have a meeting with him. We're supposed to have a meeting. Oh, yeah? What about? So, something uh, we can discuss with you? Rem? I don't know. Well, I mean, okay. it's, it's, we're a part of a, an organization that is looking a to... A conglomerate, be, uh, if you will. Yeah, looking to be approved to the office. Um, and so we were okay. looking to have a meeting with him. We're not the owners of it, though. We're just yeah, saying, we're, gotcha. we just work for somebody very important. Okay. The the uh, the billionaire bad boy himself. I don't know who that is. Really? Uh, Mr. Leslie Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. 
you have uh maybe you'll get the pleasure of meeting him if we do a meeting yeah i would love that yeah, yeah. he's a he's an interesting character you should get to know him yeah oh, yeah absolutely very interesting lots yeah. of <laughs> casino money. we just work for him you know okay gotcha we're his bitches basically understood some days yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Only when it's good around. to see you. Thanks for coming yeah. in. Ooh, all right. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. We can't do it. Make a scene. Um. Anyway, let's go back. Um. And then slowing the same person, just on different sides of the jaded spectrum. So this is basically Anna Day One and a dude. <laughs> Yeah, so so the the thing that I'm trying to like remind myself is like I the ropes I have quote ropes I have probably comes from a lot of unfortunate meta knowledge because I've been watching No Pixel for a year. And yeah, to that point, it it, it is public and it can be dangerous talking about it in the wrong circumstances i i think the the thing that may be to sloan's advantage is being able to talk his way out of certain situations or maybe into certain situations um i, I think the the deal yesterday was a good example with with lang where he had every intention of killing Sloan when he walked into the meeting, um, which was meted to me by everybody coming into my chat and 07ing. Uh, so thanks everybody who was here uh, and doing that. I don't think anybody, anybody is doing that right now or anyone here would, be, would have been doing that. But the, the suddenly 30 hoppers that jumped into 07. Um, the, the fact of the matter is though, um, <laughs> Thanks, fate. Um, oh, okay. That was the guy on the left. Um, I, I think the, the biggest advantage Sloan has is that he can acknowledge shortcomings and expectations if they're set and and so far and and i think this is maybe the ignorance piece of being able to say this stuff is if i don't know how can you hold it against me and and like when you say that to people not everyone does it but like some people are like well that's kind of a valid point like how can we hold it if you didn't know how can we hold it against you um and and then then i say okay well if you have an expectation for me then set the expectation there is there is this concept that i live by in real life that says unshared expectations leads to shared frustrations so being able to take that into one of these meetings and say that with with lang and be like you know what if you have an expectation of me i would i would much prefer you tell me and lay it out and like let's put an agreement in place so that we can be held to the same standard but if if all I get is the experience and exposure of Mickey, who I think we both know is somebody who will freely talk about stuff, um, then as I make connections, I will freely talk about stuff. And that's that's not to try and you know be an affront to anybody. That's just because I'm excited for the things that are happening in the city. It's incredible to think about the idea of businesses in Los Santos being able to build stuff. That's a great idea. Um, that's like, why, why should we, why should we want to hide that? But if you tell me that the reason you want to hide it is because you're, you want to change the excitement level and build excitement on your side, then, then I'm fine with that as well. Right? Like that's, that's one of those things is like, okay, I can understand that's not my place. I apologize for that. Um, that's an area that again, I need these expectations set so that we can be on the same page. Oh my God. Um, that's, that's just one of those things that's like, like this is where like self insert RP is absolutely a thing for me. Um, because Sloan is as much as he is a politician, he's a businessman too. And he's a, and he's a realist 
He's a businessman with a realist kind of mentality that says if you're if you're going to approach any of this with any real level of expectation of being able to get legislation passed in the city and have things benefit you, then we need to have a discussion about why it's a benefit to the city at large and not the benefit to an individual group of people. If if what the pushback I'm getting from from whether it be Crane or Bunny or anybody else, is this looks like it's trying to bit benefit an individual, and yet I can still see that it's trying to benefit the mass, um, then clearly we're on different pages. I might as well open the door to have the discussion with the people who it actually influences the most. Does that make sense? And I, I think um, the way Mickey described it, or Blau described it yesterday is like, Lang's RP is that they want to do a big event to to show it, and and I can appreciate that. Um, Sloan's RP on the other side, my RP is that um, as a politician, I've got nothing to hide. And and so whose RP is more accurate or better in this instance? Neither. They're different styles of RP. So why not merge the two together and say, well, we're not we're not actually trying to be um, competitors here. This is that's not what this is about. We're we're actually on the same team, and and if we're on the same team about making the city better, then let's um. Uh, let me put the right one on here. Cream ending. Um, let's let's make sure we're approaching our mutual outcomes together. And so, like the concept of partnership that he discussed yesterday is, I think I think we can um, I think we can get to a place of partnership. But that's going to happen through honesty. And and I will tell them when I do meet with them, if you have anything that I shouldn't know, don't tell me. Um, and I won't go poking around. But things that are absolutely easy to put together are just going to come up. I will tell them in that meeting as well, if they come up, I will discuss them with you first. And that's, that's just like as a courtesy, right? And, and the courtesy in that instance is because Sloan doesn't want to get killed. Uh, and, and if it's like, Hey, this, this looks pretty clear, right? The, the perfect example of that is hero wine. When somebody said it to Sloan the other day, sounded like heroin. If people are going around saying heroin or heroin, I mean, you're like, okay. Obviously, Sloan has no reason to make any connections on that kind of front. However, he did just make passports for them to go to Brazil because Mickey forced that RP on, on Sloan rather than saying, I'll have them made up for you. He actually turned it into the character of Sloan to do. So... Uh, no, he did not tell, oh, wait, yes, he did. Actually, he said, I, I intended to throw you off this building, but you changed my mind and I've, and I've calmed down some is what he said in the meeting. And tr truth is, I think there is a lot of really good opportunity for a partnership that does benefit the entirety of the city and Cerberus can kind of still make their advancements the way that they want to. The fact of the matter is like Sloan has no reason to screw them over in character because they haven't done anything that would be screw over worthy. People that are able to connect the dots with miscellaneous information in game are generally looked at like they're using meta, even if it's blatantly obviously. That's why there's a lot of good journalists just stop logging in. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge. And and part of the reason why like this, this Mickey arc is, is an interesting one because it's like, I've set myself up to be able to be a politician outside this administration. Mickey obviously wants to go for a third term. Maybe if Blau and his heated uh, comments in chat yesterday in the discord were any indication, maybe he won't, um, or maybe he'll just resign. Um, but the, at the end of the day, it's, it's, 
it's all role play, right? This is all a game. And, and I think sometimes people forget that this isn't real life. This is for fun. And this is for like, for some people it's quote real life in the sense that this is how they make their living. Sure. But it's not, it's not, um, real life in the sense that these characters are, you know, I'm, I'm not Sloan, right? Blau's not Mickey. Chat's not Anna. <laughs> like we, we, we play these characters and take on perspectives and, and, and maybe, maybe parts of ourselves are placed into it. And, and maybe that's where some of the, like, we might take, you know, harder, harder times when things come back, you know, and hit us a certain way. But, um, you know, the parts of us that are self inserts, right? Like I, I generally try and be a good moral person, right? That's a self insert. Um, but I can understand where, where like hearing stuff about your character that you've poured your heart and soul in, right. Might, right, might be painful or, um, like I, I have so much anxiety around the idea of meeting with Lang. Like that's a, that's a big thing. Uh, and chat to your point, can't go for a third term. It's, it's only technically limited to two because the Senate hasn't approved a third one, except that Emma has tried to go now twice, only having missed one term, which was Bunny's term. And, and they had approved her going for another term, uh, when she went up against Mickey in the last election. And then judge cross specifically said to Mickey in character, you might as well go for a third. But yeah, to your point, right? At some point you, you kind of do insert yourselves and it's, it's because like, you can't, like no one can ever completely take on an entirely different persona, not for a long time. It's impossible, right? I mean, uh, the, the, if, if we look at Blau as an example, like there's no way Blau is as extravagant in real life as he plays Mickey, but at some point he, he is a little bit kind of like that, right? He's, he's snarky and sassy. Uh, we see that in the way that he interacts with chat. Like he just overdoes it to play Mickey. Um, that's some self insert stuff. So if people are upset about that, um, then, then like, of course you're going to take that personally. I understand now as, as someone who's kind of doing this, why so many streamers have mental health problems, why people need to take time off and, and why they need to feel like they're decompressing because the, there are poppers who can be the worst. Uh, which is unfortunate. Luckily, not anybody who came in yesterday was really the worst. They, they were kind of nice, uh, which is great. And I think people didn't expect Sloan to be able to talk his way out of that situation. So, you know, people counted it as a win. But um, at the end of the day, it, it, it like doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, right? Like this is this is a game i'm here to help mickey if i can help lang and them kind of continue their rp that's great if i can help other people with their rp that's great i still like would ooc like to be able to help the city like i, I would love to do something that helps server health overall um but i i know that i have found myself in a position that not a lot of people do which is a month in um kind of in a high profile <laughs> scenario where I'm RPing with like people who are kind of powerhouses on the server and not a lot of people would do that. Yeah, exactly. Well, not, and not everyone has the kind of opportunity that I do, right? Like not everyone is, is as lucky as, as I am to be able to jump right in into RPing with, you know, somebody who carries, you know, 1500 to 2000 viewers. Uh, or like in, in Buddha's case, right? Five to 8,000. Um, and RPing with like Kyle, who's got 8,000 regularly, right? I mean, like those, those things that the first couple of days that I was in RP, I was terrified and I couldn't help but think how many people were watching. Um, and now it's, it's like, I don't think about it nearly as much, but uh, especially now that like I'm getting more and more people who do hop most most people so far have been pretty cool um which is great but at some point i know it'll it'll start being people who think i'm trying to screw over their character when you know that's never the intention right you're just role playing
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm trying not to force myself into any one group, but it seems like the, the nerds and Nancy and Bunny and, and, like, those people are a little more accommodating of this type of RP um, than some of the other people. I've, you know, I've, I've met with some of the other folks and, and seem to RP with civs in a pretty good way. Um, obviously, Booba was super cool being able to RP with him. So, like, if I can find my way into that side, that would be great. But like some of the cops just don't want to role play. Um, the town hall stuff is is kind of cool, um, but like I kind of like it. It starts to be clicky. It's it's kind of hard not to be. Um, it's kind of hard not to be clicky. Anyway, this is fun. This is a fun day. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna spend some time with my wife. Love you guys. Appreciate you all. Chat, you're the bomb. Appreciate you hopping in. Fate, you're also the bomb. I haven't gotten to hang out with Kyle much yet. Everybody here is the bomb. Love you all. See you in the next one. Probably won't be till Monday or later. Peace.